Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your download, beloveds. It has absolutely been a little minute since I've last uploaded a video. You already know how I do. I upload when I feel spirit, universe, source has something to say, and today is that day. I will, this video reaches you in the strongest of health, wealth, in a very sane, stable, calm, peaceful state of being. I will, all is blissed on your side of the planet. Everything is everything on minds. I will that you all are minding your business, <laughs> you know, like literally like tending to and focusing on your business and not allowing yourselves to get distracted by anything that may be happening in this external world. I will that you all are feeling strengthened at this time, feeling healthy, wealthy mind, body and soul. To any of you beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is, love is love is love to any of you that may be new welcome i go by the name of q i channel messages intuitively i am a clairaudient reader as i do utilize music uh to also do my readings um and the way that it works is the name of the songs that i play the lyrics of the artist maybe the time stamp on this clock or the time stamp on my phone it will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively, as well as whatever the cards may be showing, and everything just blends beautifully. So my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by, let it go, let it flow. Do not try to force anything to be your story. There may be just a little tidbit of information for you, and that's fine. Take it and keep it pushing, beloveds. Uh, my readings are also timeless, so whenever this video pops up in your feed, whenever you felt compelled to click play, that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so. So, as I said, it's been a little minute since I've last um, uploaded a video. I do not like to upload videos just for the sake of. I am more... Um, into channeling the energy as it comes. So if I feel like spirit has something to say, then that's when I am more um, open to do a reading. Um, so we all see what's going on in the world and it's important to be aware, you know, um, definitely important to be aware. Uh, but when the distractions and things like that start coming into play, make sure that you know when to pull your energy from that. Um, that's why I was saying, mind your business, you know, minding your business is literally exactly what it's saying. Focus and tend to your business, focus and tend to what you have, um, made a priority in your life. Um, and make that be your focal point because the more you focus on what you're doing, the more you'll see the progress, the more you'll see things moving in, um, a positive direction for you. A lot of the things that we're seeing right now, all the optics, um, all of these distractions, um, it is designed to pull and tug on you energetically. And we should know that by now. We know the game. We know the tricks of the trade. And so whenever you start seeing certain things popping up in your news feeds, um, just understand, you know, that a lot, if not most of stuff that comes from the news or comes from these so-called reliable sources, um, it's all propaganda. You know, it's all propaganda. Most of it is scare tactics. It's fear mongering. And it's also just to um, control the way you think and to control your perception of this world that we live in. And we all have um, a very instrumental role um, and that is to play your role. You know, whatever you are here to do, you focus on that. Do not allow yourselves to be lumped up into, um, these, these, these categories, you know, like they, they do this divide and conquer thing. So they've been doing this for years and I don't know why people, <laughs> the world has not caught on. Um, but they do, you know, incite a lot of the dramas between just the common law folk, just the regular devil of people, you know, going out there to make a living and to live their lives. They do work tirelessly 
to um, to separate us, to keep us divided, whether it through be through uh, by means of class systems, uh, whether it be my, by means of just race, you know, religion. Um, they do so many different things to make us fight one another so that we're not focusing on the bigger problems, the bigger issues, which is that the elites and these powers that be, they have all the power, they have all the money, but yet they have us fighting, you know, on these, these, uh, <laughs> on these mundane levels about silly stuff, you know, like Democrats and Republicans when they are all eating at the same table and it's just all a farce. So mind your business, focus on what you're doing. They've nothing new under the sun. It's like, there's nothing new to see here. They've been pulling these tactics for years. Um, and that's why it's important to be wise, to use your first eye to see and not to allow your emotions to get the best of you. You know, it's very important to be emotionally intelligent so that they cannot use it against you, you know, because that's what they've been doing for years is they will do something and then it pulls and tugs on the emotions of people because they know that that's literally, um, that's how you trigger folks. You trigger them by, you know, doing things that are going to impact a demographic of people. And then now you have them coming in with the, 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 the cape attack, like they're saving us or saving the situation when in fact they created it to begin with. So we just got to be wiser, um, do things differently than you've ever done them before. Very important to use your first eye to see this full moon in Capricorn. Um, you know, that's that devil energy. So always be mindful of the tricks. Um, always be mindful of the illusions. Um, you know, because a lot of things right now are hidden in plain sight. So you have to do your due diligence and you have to research for yourselves. Do not depend upon any quote unquote reliable source to feed you information, outformation. Do your own research. See it with your own eyes. Because as we already know, you shouldn't trust anyone just from face value. You know, everyone should have proven themselves to you or should be able to prove themselves. Show and prove, you know, not just go by what they say and just take it at face value, but force people to prove what they're saying to you, including these people that we see on TV, celebrities, the, 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 uh, the, the actors, all these people that folks put on a pedestal, which is literally, um, it's blasphemous because that's a form of idol tree. They're human just like you, bleed just like you for those that have not sold their souls. But it's like you're never supposed to idolize and, and put any other human being, you know, before yourself. I don't care how much money, fame, celebrity they have. Um, that There's nothing that makes them more important than you. And I will that you all know that. I will that you all understand that. Um, by now, but I just, you know, really want you to, the optics are going to be very, um, convincing now. That's why I said, you have to use your first eye to see, because I feel like they're doing anything and everything. It's another, you know, like a false flag is what I'm picking up with a lot of the things that are taking place, um, you know, in society right now. Uh, so we just got to be used, you know, you have to use, um, you know, use your intuition and don't allow people to think for you. Just like they did years ago, had people fighting one another over, um, a medical decision. You know, if someone chooses not to do something medically, there was a point in time where that was your business and it wasn't no one else's, you know, you, you, you have things like HIPAA and, and all of these other, you know, um, laws and, and, and uh, agreements which says that your medical records and information is, is, is private, you know. Um, but they tried to take that away from us very slickishly, you know, a couple of years ago by forcing, you know, these, these employers to, to force their employees to um, get that hot shot, um, compromising their jobs, which was in essence... Um, that was just illegal across the board. And I don't know how they were able to get away with that without any um, backlash, you know. And we're seeing now 
the effects of people going against their own free will and allowing themselves to be vetted and and misled um, in all of the the different you know cases that have come out where people have act actually died you know from that hot shot which we already knew was a probability because they didn't test it long enough so even with that even j this this is just another plot you know it, it's like plotting you know they're plotting to see how sleep we are or how awakened we are and if they could get away with certain things, then they're going to roll it out. You know, a lot of people are talking about Project 2025. I would advise each of you to go and pull that up and read it. Um, I don't want to go into what my thoughts are because those are my thoughts. But I would like for you to do your due diligence to read it for yourselves and take from it what you should. What you should. But it's very important times and it's far more important for you know everyone to start coming into who they are being their authentic selves um we can no longer be wearing masks and and, and just going along to get along and that, that 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 train has passed that time is over we have to be more accountable now so i will that each of you are continuing your work continuing your journey and continuing to be resilient through all of the madness um, I will that you have found your strength and that you are leaning on that strength and in that strength and calling upon your angels, your guides, your ancestors for the strength that you may feel you don't have at this time because it's already all right. You know what I'm saying? It's already all right. That's how I'm feeling. I've had nothing but signs and synchronicities and a lot of um, beautiful mystical um events take place you know we saw another rainbow uh i saw one by myself but my children and i we saw one together again um we've been having a lot of beautiful thunderstorms um and that's some really powerful um energy so if you could catch some of that that rainwater that's really good you can mop your floors with it cleanse you know um your home with it you could use it in your um and some of your cleaning um you know, your cleaning uh, protocols, uh, you know, to clean, clear, and cleanse your homes. But yes, it's, it, it, do your due diligence, mind your business, and, and do what you're doing. You know, stay focused on, on your path. Prioritize what you have going on over what other people are trying to make you focus on, okay? But that's just, um, you know, a little diatribe. What I had on my heart that I wanted to share with you all. I will, everyone is blessed. We're going to go ahead and proceed with the read because I just went into a nice little spiel and you know we're gonna see what the cards have to say now <laughs> you know say it so let's see what we have on the clazak so it is currently um 11 32 on the clock and we have big daddy kane's um npr tiny desk concert so right now um this is called smooth operator the song that he's doing so smooth operator. So you got to be smooth right now. Um, you just got to know how to, you know, go with the flow, you know, like not go with the flow, but you got to let things just flow naturally, but don't allow yourselves to be pulled and tugged in different directions that you weren't, you know, that you weren't on, you know, so just stay focused. But with smooth, I do feel like, you know, after, um, a lot of this chaos, things are going to get smoother. Things are going to get more balanced. I feel like this is the calm, um, you know, kind of like before the storm. You know, that's why it's like you have to, you know, be mindful of what's coming. And when you're ready, you don't, when you stay ready, you don't have to get ready sort of thing. So it's like, you know, make sure you're doing your due diligence. You know, the other day there was the scare with the credit cards and, you know, all the airlines had delays and things weren't working. And to me, that was a trial run. Um, so for some of you all, it, you may have been feeling like, okay, I need to pull my money out and I need to get all of my funds together and just start doing it like they used to do back in the days and hide it in the pillow and under the mattress and in the TVs and, you know, do whatever you have to do, you know, because um, that was a very scary situation to not be able to have access to your funds um, and also to know that they have all access to all of your funds. Like, that's scary. You know, I heard there were some cases where people didn't even 
get their paychecks on that day you know so that's a very scary feel for especially for those who live paycheck to paycheck you know so if you don't have access to your money you you can't you can't do nothing you're compromised and they know that so i do feel like that 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 was some sort of t- trial run or some sort of um just like a pardon me my mouth is getting a little cottony but i do feel like that was just like a, a false flag some sort of little test run to see how we would respond and what you know what the outcome would be how quickly it would take um you know for folks to recover from that but let's see what the cards have to say that's just what i'm picking up intuitively beloveds so let's go ahead we're going to take some nice inhales exhale um I'm going to pay homage to the ancestors, do some house cleaning, and then we shall proceed with the read, Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So, mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So when we first picked up the cards, it was 1132. I didn't expound on that. And that seven deals with the crown chakra. That seven is also the card of the chariot, which is a high, um, you know, high card, a major arcana card, I should say. So with that energy, I do feel like, as I was saying earlier, you know, very important um, times to, you know, use discernment, use your intuition, but also um, there could be a lot of uh, divine intervention taking place at this time where your angels and your guides, your ancestors could be communicating with you or to you. Um, And they do so in various means, in various ways, um, whether that be through angel numbers, maybe you're seeing a lot of 777s, 888s, Um, maybe you're seeing 1111, maybe you're seeing 333, maybe you're seeing 222. Um, Those are all angel messages. Those are not numbers, but they are messages that correspond with those numbers. And it will behoove you to look up those meanings, especially if you're seeing it on a daily basis every single day. Um, some of you may see it on license plates. Some of you may see it on addresses. Maybe when you, you know, pull up your phone in your mailbox, it says 1111. You have 1100, um, you know, emails, you know, or whatever the case may be. You'll see a correlation to um, that angel number that you're seeing constantly. The back of a license plate. You could be driving in that same angel number. Maybe you're bumping into certain animal totems. Um, where you could be bumping into a fox. I heard a fox. Um, someone could have bumped into a deer. Um, there's definitely um, feathers. A lot of people have been finding feathers. Even um, myself, when I take my nature walks, I always find feathers. Like that is something I always find when I'm on my nature walk. And there was a time where I didn't find any. And now it just seems to be more of a consistent thing for me. Um, so maybe some of you all are finding them. I know when I would post pictures, you all would comment and say, yeah, I would, I found a feather or I recently found a feather or my mom who has transitioned used to always find feathers. Um, you know, and so those things are messages, you know, for me, I feel like, especially when I share certain things that I do personally and you all are, um, you know, and it, it, uh, it, um, resonates with you. Um, that's because perhaps there's a loved one that is in the spirit realm that's communicating through you, um, communicating to you, uh, through these messages. So those are the ways that your angels and your ancestors will communicate, um, is sometimes through a tarot reader, sometimes through a direct line. Some of you could be having dreams at this time, a lot of lucid dreams, or maybe you're having some vivid dreams. Maybe some of you all are astral traveling and you're visiting loved ones. And that's something that you haven't done in years. 
um, and maybe you've recently done that and you were able to pick up on some information or visit someone that you haven't seen in a while or maybe this is someone that could be doing that to you like a re remote viewing of some sort um, but I'm absolutely getting a sense of like there's messages coming through divine messages and it was it, it, it was very um, evident you know, that spirit is saying it's very important to use your intuition. It's very important at this time, especially now, um, to not allow yourselves to be swayed or to be manipulated or to be tricked or duped into doing anything. Because as I said, um, you know, with the devil energy, you know, that I was picking up on, um, there's definitely, you know, that, that, um, you know, there's definitely that, that, um, that chance of uh, there being ulterior motives or someone having some sort of agenda. Um, and that's why it's important to use your intuition and your discernment all the time. You know, not some of the time, but all the time. If you pick up on certain energies, um, trust that. Don't go against that. Uh, this came out in a former reading, a couple of readings um, prior, you know, that it's very imperative uh, to always go with your gumption. Um, because that saves lives. That's, that's your higher self alarming you and giving you instruction. And when people don't listen to that and do what they please, a lot of times they regret it. They, they have regrets. So, um, this is like a forewarning. This is just to let you know, and this is on a grand scale. This isn't just when it comes to, you know, people in your immediate circle. This is people, you know, that you may encounter in terms of politics. Um, people you may encounter in your, your place of employment, um, wherever you are, you know, always use your intuition, wherever you are, always trust that inner gumption, always go with what feels right, sits right in your spirit and never allow yourselves to be duped or swayed or, um, you know, tricked into doing something that someone wants you to do. Ashe, uh, because that seven also is showing me like the seven of swords energy as well. Um, that 1132 that we opened up the reading with, with big daddy Kane, um, you know, the Cain, um, I'm getting Cain and Abel, the story of Cain and Abel, and those were the brothers, um, where one of them, you know, killed the other brother so he could, you know, inherit his, his, um, his success or inherit, um, his, um, blessings. And so with that Cain and Abel, be mindful, um, you know, maybe this is also like on, you know, for some of you I'm picking up, this could be some sort of like a rivalry between a family member, even a sibling. This could be someone, um, you know, that could be trying to dupe you into signing a contract for them or like signing off on a car for them or trying to sign off on some paperwork. And it's, it's them duping you because they don't have any intentions on paying it back perhaps, or maybe they're trying to bind you to a contract um, that they have no intentions on paying off. Maybe they feel entitled because maybe you're a little well off or you're doing well financially. So they feel like, Hey, you can handle it. You can deal with it. Um, I need it. It's about me. I want it, you know, so be mindful of that as well. Cause that could cost you a lot of, um, aggravation down the line as well. Um, it could, you could take a blow to your credit. It, it could be uh, very frustrating, um, dealing with stuff like that. So just be mindful um, but I'm definitely getting devilish energy. Uh, the seven of swords is definitely someone very tricky, very sneaky. Um, and as I said, someone who's very self, um, absorbed, you know, very entitled type of energy. They feel like they deserve more than they're willing to give. So you do have to be mindful of those type of, you know, um, entanglements as well, whether that be by means of, you know, people on a personal level, like within your family dynamic, or whether that be in a professional level, in your career, in your job, um, be mindful of that, you know, be mindful of people who expect more, but don't want to give you what you're deserving of. Um, because you have to know your worth. Um, when you don't know your worth, they'll sell you short every time. So speak up and stand up for what you believe in, speak up for yourself. Um, because some people are testing to see if you are um, going to speak your truth or allow yourself to be taken advantage of. And now is the time, if any, um, to speak, you know, speak with some base. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like speak with some real base. But that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. Let's see what the cards have to say. Trust your intuition. I do feel like things are becoming more harmonized. You know, you, you are being more um, what I feel... Um, you more 
I feel more not persistent. Um, it, there is a persistence, but I feel like you're being more um, attentive, more assertive towards those things that you desire, you know, and that's always, you know, there's always positivity that comes from that when you put forth an effort, when you utilize the intention and the energy and the, you know, the, just your spoken word, you know, um, is very powerful as well. So speak what you want into this universe, into this reality, um, and not what you don't want because what you speak is what you're going to create. So that's how you need to continue to be. If that's not how you've been, that's how spirit wants you to be. Focus on what you desire and not on what you don't have or what may seem like, you know, um, some sort of shortcoming. Focus on what you do have. Focus on what, you, even if you don't have it in your possession, speak as if you do, you know, because that is, that's like you're, you're tricking the mind. Um, you're planting those little seeds in your subconscious and the more you plant those seeds and water it and cultivate it with those positive affirmations, the more those things can blossom in your reality. So that's what you have to do. You have to, um, speak what you desire and not focus on what you don't have. Um, even if it, if it doesn't appear that you have it, know that it's on its way. Um, no, and know it, you got to know it. You got to feel it. You got to see it. You got to visualize it in your mind's eye. So it's a whole process that you have to, um, that you have to practice in order to, to manifest that, that, that of what you desire into reality. So don't get caught up in the distractions. That's why it's very important to protect your mind, you know, protect your mind, protect yourselves. Um, do not allow people to play tricks. You know, that's one of the, the devil's biggest tricks is to convince the world he doesn't exist. But he's everywhere all the time. And he's even within you all the time. And that's when those seeds of doubt and those, you know, the fear, those things are all rooted in devil, that devil energy. So you always have to make sure that you remain in uh, equilibrium. Um, remain harmonized, remain positive, remain optimistic, walk in faith, not by sight, because your eyes can play tricks on you. You know, your perception is, you know, is often being used against you. You know, that's why I said earlier in the beginning of this, this reading, um, you know, the optics right now, they're, that's what they're utilizing. And you cannot believe what you see all the time. Not with your two eyes, at least, you know, so that's why your intuition is very important. You got to use your intuition. But let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say yet again. I keep saying that, but more keeps coming out. So like I said, when spirit has something to say, that's when I do these readings. That's when I channel the messages. So we're going to, of course, start off with the numerology deck, beloveds, as I always do. So what we have on the bottom of the deck, oh, we got a number eight. So this is beautiful. So we started the reading with the number seven. This is the number eight. And this is manifestation. We're coming into the um, eighth month in a couple of weeks. And that's August. Eight is the number of, in my opinion, I always liken the star card to wish fulfillments, blessings, because that 17 breaks down to eight. But I also, you know, look at this as this eight universal year, you are manifesting um, your desires, something that you've been working hard on, whether you've been, you know, setting the intentions as I was saying earlier, whether you've been speaking things into the universe, affirmations, daily mantras, meditating, connecting to your higher self, things are manifesting. And this is going to bring a lot of emotional fulfillment. I feel like you've gotten stronger in your ability to manifest. And it has a lot to do with you trusting and utilizing your intuition and your discernment, which has, uh, you've avoided a lot of um, you know, misfortunes. You've avoided a lot of um, negative outcomes because you've literally protected your peace. You've moved away from a lot of things that was distractions um, that were also kind of, you know, energy vamp vampires, like vampiric energy, a leechy energy. Um, so I do feel like there's this strength that you are leaning in now, that you are utilizing now more than ever. And this is what's also assuring something manifesting in real time. There's a card showing behind that, and that's 32. So this 11, um, we saw 1132 when we started, 
uh, the 32 breaks down to five that deals with the hierophant and that speaks to you um, really you know maturing growing through some sort of pain because uh, that three in 32 is automatically giving me like the three of swords energy uh, where there was a lot of pain um, a lot of agony a lot of hurt um, and a lot of this is you know from trauma whether familial childhood even past life um, but you've been taking a lot of time um, to almost like regenerate, you know, this is like a rebirth because eight and five um, breaks down to 13 and that's your energy. That's the death card in traditional tarot. And there was a reason why spirit told me to look at this card because I feel like that's the, 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 the lessons. This is about tutelage. So you were learning in a process of, um, you know, learning how to deal with, um, you know, those disappointments and those hurts, um, but coming out of it where you're not bitter, you know, where there's no bitterness, where there's really um, a focus on like not just healing yourself, but also healing generations after you, because this does feel like it's generational. You know, this feels like this was something that maybe, you know, your mother carried, um, maybe her mother carry you know your grandmother your grandmother you know like your great 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 grandmother this is something that's like lineage this is something that's in the bloodline that needed to be broken whether it was a yoke whether it was some sort of like I said something as a generational curse and I feel like you've been doing that and that's why there's you know almost like this blessing that comes at the end of this because of the work the dedication and you also um you know turning your power turning your pain into power turning those vulnerabilities into a superpower even and emerging someone brand new emerging someone wise because this is spiritual strength you know the hierophant um sits at the feet of the elder you know he sits at the feet of the elders you know whether in their own family the matriarchs patriarchs of the family maybe an auntie uncle a grandmother a grandfather um you know maybe there's some sort of high priest priestess in the family but this is like initiation you know so whatever you've endured um, you know, in your lifetime, in former lifetimes, it was in, it was inevitable for you to, um, do this work to heal in this lifetime. And there's, there's a strong chance that this may be the last, um, go round for you. You know, they say we have died and, and, and been reborn many lifetimes. We've come back as, you know, perhaps insects and animals and other people and, and, um, and so I feel this may be the last go round for some of you Scorpios. Like this is the last time that you'll return and the last time you'll end. And I'm hearing that you will, um, you will rise as an ascended master, like as an angel to help guide others, you know, to, to the truth or to the light. Um, you will be, you know, that, that angelic figure in someone's life. I feel like many of you are earth angels now where you, you know, definitely are, um, you know, very loving and very emotionally intelligent. So a lot of people may turn to you and come to you for that, that unconditional love or for that guidance or just for comfort. You know, there's a tenderness and a, a caring um, vibration, you know, a maternal um, and paternal vibration and energy that you may give off just very naturally, you know, you're very grounding. Um, and so you may just be like an earth angel in someone's eyes. This 13 does break down to four. So I do feel a strong sense of self-love. What we have playing right now is we have, um, this is um, DMX. So we have DMX um, take control. This is called DM, um, take control featuring Snoop Dogg. So I do feel like, yeah, you, you had to take control of things because I do feel like perhaps, as I said, you know, when you, when you're breaking generational curses and hexes, things can get out of control. When you think of that, you know, I'm automatically seeing towers fall. I'm seeing, you know, secrets being, um, unleashed and people, um, you know, being, exposed that you may have trusted because I was getting the three of swords from the three, um, the 32, you know, um, and that too is your intuition. That's the high priestess. So you trusted your intuition, which is what I was feeling earlier. And that's what kind of led you out of, you know, the, the darkness out of, you know, that, that, um, period where things were, um, 
really difficult and look what's hiding see that look at that this card was like just kind of showing in the back and i was like what is that and that's the 93 so now you're gonna have a happy ending that's what i was feeling like your your, your wishes are coming true there's blessings that are coming true and i feel like maybe on the fifth day in august some of you may get some good news um we do know that the lion's gate is august 8th and this is an eight universal year so that portal is 888 work with that number um whether you know when you're doing scribing in your manifestation journals i'm just seeing like work with the number eight you know the eight sideways is the infinity symbol utilize that in making your own like sigils sigils um and utilize that number eight you know recite your prayers your psalms eight times if you utilize those in your manifestations um speak your mantras daily you know eight times uh, maybe speak some of your affirmations, repeat them eight times. Um, maybe let them play for eight hours um, every day. Just play them while you're at work. But I'm, I'm feeling like that number eight is very significant. Um, seven is also very significant. I've been seeing a lot of 888s eight, 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 um, and 777s. Seven, 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 I want to show you. I like to show and prove for those of you who are not familiar with me. I do... Um, catch a lot of synchronicities like i saw three 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 on the back of this car if you could see that let me let me try to can i magnify it see that that's a three 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 and i was in the middle of um talking about angels and then i saw this three 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 i hope you could see that i don't know if you could see that it looks very blurry on my TV. I mean, on my screen. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's the trick. Do it like that. So, 333. Three. Um, and this is the rainbow that I saw. I like to show y'all. I'm always catching things. Um, so, this is a rainbow my children and I saw one day. If you could see that and and this was seven 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 it actually says seven eight eight seven and eight and eight sixteen that's seven so seven 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 and I saw seven 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 yet again This is 7176. And that's 777. These are some more feathers I found that I never posted. That was four. I found four that day. So that's that's it. I'm I'm not gonna bore you with this, but I just wanted to share. So we got go um, Jay Dillon that says so far to go. So that's beautiful. Rising power to Jay Dillon. This feature in common and D'Angelo. So with so far to go, I do feel like you have a further. You have so much further to go. You know, like you've come a long way. You know, and with that eight, you know, like I said, this is an eight universal year, and I feel like this is your year. This is your time. Um, so we got 56 relationship change, eight manifestation on the split. So that 56 is 11 and 11 is the number of the, um, justice card. So I do feel like, you know, there are going to be some changes to, you know, your, your inner side, you're like your cipher, your inner circle. You're like, you're not just going to be around just anybody. I feel like you're aligning with your soul tribe. You're aligning with people that, um, are going to be more lifelong type of individuals. Like these are not going to be some janky folks or some little fugazi individuals, like, you know, backstabby type of people. Like you're going to have some real, um, lifelong connections that you're really forging and developing right now. Um, you're going to start meeting like minds. You're going to start resonating with people on different levels. Um, and these people are coming in at the right time because you're really, um, 
you know, coming into alignment with your divine purpose, you know, with, with who you are destined to be, you know, so we're going to tap in. So that 11 also, um, as I said, is the justice, but that 11 breaks down to two, uh, and that is the high priestess. So with relationship change, I do feel like, um, your relationships are going to change because you're going to be more mindful in how, um, you choose, you know, your friend group or how you, um, choose your soulmates, um, or how you choose, you know, love interests or careers, um, whatever you're doing, you're going to be more mindful, um, in doing this three is on the bottom creativity. A lot of you are tapping into your divinity to create. Um, I feel like many of you definitely feminine energy are in a very divine feminine energy. Masculines are also, um, you know, in their energy, in their power, um, master manifestors, birthing new ideas, birthing new ways of thinking, beautiful energy all together. So let's tap and see what's coming and going out, going on. And I always cut the cards according to how I feel. So there is no number per se. It's just whatever it feels like. So the bottom of the deck, overall energy. And it looks like that's the uh, creativity card, which was on the bottom of the deck. And you saw how many times I shuffled. So that was your energy. So the three is associated with that beautiful empress energy we have 41 self-discipline on the bottom of the deck and i do believe that was the card that came out in the former reading um for the overall energy so this is powerful um in and of itself because this is 44 these two cards break down to 44 and 444 is also an angelic number um that i've been seeing a lot i feel like a lot of you have been seeing that number that's a number that i actually um see every day like because I wake up at four o'clock to do like my little um you know my little prayers and things like that and so um oh look at this this was a uh, butterfly that was fluttering around me a very beautiful little butterfly um and I took a picture of him um but he's he was beautiful he was absolutely gorgeous and um and I just had to snap a photo of him. But he was just so playful, so sweet. I don't know where my 444s are. All right, I must have deleted them to make room. But, okay, so I put, I switched the cards. So there's three... Um, Empress energy definitely is showing just this new radiance, this power, this strength, this beauty, tapping into your divinity, as I said. Maybe you're creating and birthing new ideas and ways of thinking. Some of you could definitely be pregnant with child. But I feel like this is like beautiful energy, it's happy energy. You know, yellow is a color of strength. It's a color of illumination. You know, maybe there's some new ideas coming to you. Um, I definitely feel a maternal energy, a paternal energy from this as well. Like your home, the hearth is very, very um, much a focal point right now, making sure that there's stability and there's security. I feel like your hard work has definitely been paying off. Whatever it is you've been doing, you're seeing the fruits of your labor now. I feel things are definitely manifesting. There's this sense of like um, just joy, overall joy. A lot of adoration. I feel like you're, you're, you're like seen as very um, attractive, beautiful. Um, there's just this allure, you know. And with 41 self-discipline, um, this is the energy of who or what you're attracting to you. With self-discipline, I feel like someone could also be like maturing and growing. Um, learning to, you know, learning those same things you've had to learn pretty much. Because this 41 does break down to that same energy of the hierophant so that's a studious energy it's um one where someone is learning they're learning um what i feel you know emotional intelligence spiritual um becoming spiritually awakened becoming spiritually stronger um so this is a beautiful energy of like someone perhaps learning to love themselves um learning to trust what they're feeling and I'm seeing this 13 card show up also. So I feel someone's going through some sort of like transformation as well. Like the 13 
is the death card in the traditional tarot which is scorpionic energy so maybe this is like something you've taught this person because they are learning i feel like they're learning from you as well like you're like a beacon of light to this person whoever's watching you this is how they see you radiant beautiful attractive wise nurturing loving strong um courageous bold they see a new you a new version of you like you've evolved or emerged you know come into this you know you've you've like transformed into your divine self like there's the sense of like maturation in you this is beautiful and and they are learning definitely self-discipline it's like they get in themselves together um so that they can approach or so that they, you know whatever this is be mindful so we have um 96 forgiveness so whoever you're attracting to you it's it's asking for you to not judge to show compassion this is 96 which is 15 that's the death card i mean the um devil card pardon me and remember when we started the reading it was seven and then the first card we saw was eight and I was picking up on a devil energy. And remember what I was saying about using your intuition and using discernment with forgiveness. Forgiveness is always for you. It's never for anyone else. So don't allow anyone to manipulate you into feeling like you have to accept, um, you know, their apology, even if it's not sincere, just because someone lets the words, I'm sorry, you know, fall from their lips doesn't mean that it's sincere. If you see sincerity and you feel the sincerity um, then you can accept it, you know, um, but the forgiveness is part is really for you, you know, um, accepting an apology is a completely different, you know, game. That's a completely different situation, but forgiveness, the forgiveness part where you let go of that emotional baggage and that trauma and the hurt, um, that comes along with whatever the experience was that I was picking up on where I felt like pain and loss and agony when you forgive those who have hurt you um you release you know you become freer you become lighter um and you can ascend you know to um you know to higher versions of yourself but when you're just holding on to anger and all of those low vibrational energies um it will keep you bound and stuck you know and stagnant ultimately so the forgiveness what spirit is saying what you're attracting to you maybe it's becoming easier for you to forgive others because you have you know kind of been cutting this cord this yoke this hex um the six and three breaks down to nine so this is saying that you are you, you are protecting yourself and you are very guarded because i'm seeing like the nine of wands because you've been hurt and backstabbed repeatedly by people that were in your cipher and that's why i think now you're doing your due diligence to make sure that whatever you have around you whomever you have in your cipher they are reliable they are trustworthy um they are loyal you know they are all the things that you are um to others you know so this is showing that your forgiveness is definitely going to bring some form of wish fulfillment because you are releasing and letting go of things that could have been keeping you anchored emotionally where you couldn't really um you know get past the pain and the hurt because you was holding on to it so if you're holding on to something and you're not letting it go it can it can become like um it can become crippling to some degree you know what i'm saying and a lot of people will start um, making excuses for being angry or making excuses um so that they can become or stay a victim in this in the storyline and we're not victims you know we, we, we that's the last thing that we should look at ourselves as you know you you have to empower yourselves that's why i said protect your minds protect yourselves because you're none of the things that these people on these tvs are telling you you are so much more you know what i'm saying so see yourselves as royalty see yourselves as regalness see yourselves as you know as the empresses and emperors the gods and the goddesses see yourselves as that don't see yourselves as broken bitter and busted and disgusted you know because that's what you'll be you'll just be that you'll just be a bitter bitter bee you'll just be an angry old man or old woman those are the people we see walking around still you know mugging you know mean mugging and they're 85 and it's like like have you not learned anything in your 85 years of living 
you know, that, you know, smiling and, and laughter adds years to you. It just adds years and you're so happy, you know, but I, you don't want to be that. So it's like forgiveness is for you. Forgive, um, never forget, but forgive. Forgiveness is for you. It definitely cuts you free from anyone or anything. And I feel like it's also bringing some sort of bliss in because we did see that manifestation on the bottom of the deck. What we have here is self-love. So how someone feels about you, we're about to pull that card and it says self-love. So they could absolutely see that you love yourself, that you have, you know, this strong sense of self-love. We saw self-discipline. So that is showing, you know, that's all encompassing of self-love, self-worth, self-value. So when you love yourself, then you're teaching other people how to treat you. And so this is why I feel like this is going to bring some sort of like balance or some sort of victory or something that's you know, bringing a triumphant moment, um, because you are now asserting yourself, um, and, and, and loving yourself enough to, you know, not just accept anything to not just go along, get along, not just to appease and please, but you're doing what feels right, sits right in your spirit. And that's because you're now in harmony, you're in balance. So this makes you more attractive. You know, the way you treat yourself, the way you love yourself, the way you respect yourself is always very attractive to others. So let's tap in and see what we have. What you have on the bottom of the deck, we got 37. And that's going to be what we pull for um, what's hidden. And that timeout is very significant. It's saying that there's something that um, you're taking a break from. And I feel like you're taking a break just to assess um, something new. And we have Funky Soul Classics by DJ Smooth. This seems like this is some sort of playlist and I don't want to listen to a whole, it seems like I got a bunch of playlists, but this says third world, 96 degrees in the shade. So, you know, it has been very hot. Um, but third world is a, um, a reggae, um, group. So some of you could be from Jamaica. Some of you could be Rastas, Rastafarians. Some of you could be, um, born in 1977 because i see 1977 here 96 maybe some of you were born in 1996 1997 1996 but 96 degrees in the shade some of you could definitely be where it's been like record number heat waves because <laughs> it's been very hot here in um north carolina where i'm at so we have 78 spiritual career so as I said, with that 32 we saw earlier, I was saying how many of you are like high priestess. It's important to trust your intuition, utilize your intuition. But many of you are sages. You know, many of you are spiritually strong, highly psychic, intuitive, maybe clairvoyant um, as well. You know, because that music, you know, maybe some of you also receive messages from songs or um, maybe you're musicians as well. But I do feel like you have a spiritual career Whatever that is that you do, whether you're a practitioner, um, whether you are someone who may handcraft um, instruments, wands, maybe you make candles, um, spiritual candles, maybe you make jewelry, whatever it is you do, um, I definitely feel like there's a lot of abundance um, that's going to come from that. We also have 44 environment, so it's coming quickly and rapidly. This is an eight. So 15, remember we started the reading with 7, um, with 11.32, and then we had the 8 abundance, and this is the 78 there, 15. So I do feel like your work, whatever it is you're doing, is bringing some form of um, prosperity. You know, I'm, I'm seeing that your finances are improving. I feel like there's definitely growth. There's definitely, like, your hard work, um, as I said earlier, is paying off because this 44 is given like the eight of pentacles to me. It also gives me like wish fulfillment is like rapidly approaching, you know, this month of August um, is going to bring many blessings. I feel like a lot of you have been waiting a long time. And remember, we have 96 here and it says third world, 96 degrees in the shade. Maybe someone you are attracting to you could have been born in 1977 or maybe in um, 1996 but this is 96 and this card reference 96 that's 15 so that's six at six is saying this is someone you may have moved away from someone who could be traveling someone who could be at a distance 
Because I'm seeing the Six of Swords. And it's saying forgiveness. So this is someone you could have created some sort of distance, some sort of space. Because remember, this three creativity in a 96 is 99. Nine, that's 18. So this could be someone who has moon, uh, like a, a cancer in their chart. We are under the full moon of Capricorn. Someone may apologize. Someone may, you know, maybe someone's obsessively thinking about apologizing or someone could be um, obsessively thinking about something that took place in the past. But these two cards reduce to 9-9 nine, nine, and that reduces to 9 because 9-9 nine, nine breaks down to 18 and 18 breaks down to 9. So whoever this is, I'm definitely getting a strong sense of like there's something changing in this person. This person is changing for the better. Like they're seeing something for the first time, maybe seeing you in a whole new light. You reached a level of self-mastery. So you're very just like, they're, they're like drawn to you like a moth to a flame. Look how bright your light is shining. And they're obviously learning from you, especially with blue. The blue deals with that throat chakra. Maybe they are trying to find the words to express something or communicate something to you. But with um, third world, maybe someone is in their third chakra. Or maybe this is, because this is the third card in the major arcana, which is the empress. And this is referencing third world. And the world card is the completion um, of a cycle. It's the completion of, you know, any type of, um, you know, any type of karmic, chapter or a cycle you've been you know kind of navigating but when you break down that world card which is 21 that comes becomes three so i feel like this person really sees you um and with 96 degrees in the heat this like hot and bothered like i feel like this person you know there could be this sense of like maybe there's um a strong attraction, obsession, because the 15, the devil, that's, you know, they, they, they literally, literally, they are obsessive energies. You know, they could be obsessive. This could be someone um, that could even be jealous. You know, it's 96 degrees, you know, that that's hot. So someone could be hot and bothered, like um, lusting, or someone could be hot, like angry, frustrated, mad um, at you, you know, elevating you know at you kind of graduating and and growing and reaching a level of self-mastery transforming into your higher version of yourself that could be maddening to another person maybe it's because you have these boundaries or you have some sort of guard up because these nine was giving me the nine of wands where you have you know kind of blocked out anything that's not serving your highest good so how they're seeing you, again, spiritual career. Someone knows that you're highly in tune. They know your first eyes open. They may see you very stable, self-sufficient. Got your eyes on the prize like you're not um, allowing many distractions in your life at this time. Because whatever it is you're doing, you're focusing on your, your stability. You're focusing on your security. You're foc focusing on like your legacy, will, you know your children, your family, the home, the hearth, like that's how they see you. We have 56 relationship change. So you're definitely getting your just due. I do feel like there is um, something transforming in your lives where you're coming into alignment with, um, like I said, the right people. Because this is one, this eight and this 56, that's 11, that's two. So that's one, and then, so this is eight, eight. All these cards reduce to eight, eight, which is 16. And that 16 is the card of um, the tower. So the tower has fallen, as I said. And that's why they want forgiveness, because something has, um, something has ended. You know, there was an ending, an abrupt ending. And it's because maybe they, you know, this, this devil energy, they will do anything to get what they want. So maybe there was some manipulation. And that's why someone is like maybe having some sort of epiphanous moment. 
as this 96 like I said breaks down to 15 which is the devil card but that devil of the 15 also breaks down to six and the six is the lovers so the lovers and the devil card is like yin and yang it's like the opposites you know and so maybe someone has done some shadow work here this could even be your energy where you've had to do shadow because I've mentioned how we have both the devil and the and, and the most high God um, within a, within each of us. And the devil is the part of us that doubts and always speaks in a lack mentality or has a scarcity mindset or, you know, just constantly low vibrational, always victim mindset. Um, but that God frequency is, you know, you speak power onto yourself and your circumstances. And so this 15, that then breaks down to the six, which is the lovers, is you doing the shadow work. So that's the mirror work, you're reflecting. And this is who or what you're attracting to you. So because you've reached that level of self mastery, you can now be forgiving and you can shout, now show that compassion. And you can now you know, not judge others because you understand on a higher um, aspect why things occurred or why um you grew through what you grew, you went through you know it was all a part of your your destiny it's all just destined so this is beautiful and powerful this 37 time out i definitely feel like especially with this 10 that something that's destined for you you know maybe there was some delays because i get time out so i feel like there was delays because there was a lot of soul work being done there was a lot of healing, a lot of transforming, a lot of growing, you know, rejuvenating and, and recovering from past hurts. And now there's this, you know, this turning point. Something's coming perhaps full circle. An opportunity perhaps that is um, coming full circle. Or maybe even a person, you know, maybe there's an opportunity that you thought was done, you know, and we have queen, another one bites the dust. So queen. So many of you, you are definitely queens. And I just, for whatever reason, saw like the queen of swords in my mind's eye, because you know, when you go through that startling a metamorphosis as a Scorpio, um, usually Scorpios will transform into that queen of swords, you know, and the queen of swords is all about purging. You know, she doesn't take too kindly to anyone uh, playing with her intelligence, insulting her intelligence. And so she will cut people, places, things off so that she can ensure that her environment is healthy. So as I said, she's going to start handpicking the people around her, you know, by means of, you know, making sure that they're loyal, faithful, trustworthy, honest, communicative, you know, like she's going to have some solid folks. So she's going to start handpicking. Another one bites the dust. This is also just indicating that you're going to start making some cuts. You know, you're going to start, you know, getting rid of the folks. That's what this timeout is about. So you're, you're ready and prepared for some sort of new, you know, new beginning, some sort of new cycle. This 3710, like I said, is the wheel of fortune. So things are turning. If there was someone trying to delay you or delay opportunities or delay a circumstance, they're going to also fall by the wayside and learn the hard way. You know, because if you're chosen and you're one of the most highs folks, the angels folks that they're protecting, uh, and someone is working against that with ill intention and envy and jealousy in their heart, that they're, they're, they're definitely going to, you know, be tripped by the same, you know, um, the same cord that they're trying to trip you up with. They're going to, they're going to fall um, by their own mis, you know, misdeeds. So let's tap in. What's hidden? What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message. Peace, power, and protection, spirit. What's hidden in the energy? Thank you, spirit. Finish the shuffle. Thank you. And we have on the bottom of the deck, we have love, six. So that's that love. That's that energy of the lovers that I was picking up on. So this person has transformed. This could even be you in harmony, in union with you yourself. You know, this is emotional equilibrium. This is also, you know, coming into alignment, like I said, with individuals that are on your frequency, 
Um, this could even be work relationships are strengthening people that you're coming into alignment with. You're going to have more in common with, um, have similar missions, goals, have similar, uh, journeys, passions. So this is beautiful. Um, and we have 91 surrenders to spirit. Definitely want you to be open. You have to be open and receptive in order to receive. <laughs> so if you are calling these things in and manifesting these blessings, but you are not open to receive it, you can miss the boat. This 91 is also 10. So this is saying this is a turning point, something's turning, but you have to be open to receive because maybe things from the past may have some hold on you, you know, like in terms of, you know, how you may be perceiving something. I feel like it's like spirit is saying that you've manifested this, this 91 becomes one and that's the number of the magician. So I do feel like there's something that you're absolutely manifesting right now or something you've manifested and it's coming. And that's why spirit is like, be open, be open to receive it because there's a golden opportunity that is awaiting you. There is a golden opportunity that is awaiting you, beloved. And I'm hearing the word ifata, ifata, ifata. And that means open. So maybe the roads are opening up. Some of you could be working with Baba Ogun or Baba Alegua. Maybe you've been calling upon Mama Oshun or Mama Yemenya to open up the roads. Maybe you've been working with Archangel Mikael. This is powerful. So we have the six... Because the Archangel Mikael rules the root chakra. So, yes. He's taking his sword and he's cutting you free from whatever was binding you, keeping you bound or stuck, stagnant, breaking you free from the chains, cutting the yoke. And Spirit is saying, surrender to it. Death definitely feels like that. That's why we rule the, the card of death and transformation and regeneration because we're strong enough to to do it you know but you have to also surrender to um to whatever it is that you've been asking for as well because there are some blessings coming i'm telling you i've been saying this and i feel it you know and and it's been coming it's been coming up a lot so the six love this is how you're feeling about yourself because your outcome is love and the lovers has, you know, if you think of traditional tarot, there's a feminine and masculine energy. Not only does that speak to you being in harmony, but that also is speaking to you coming into perhaps, you know, some very harmonized connections, you know, with your soul tribe, with your soul mate. So let's tap in. So what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck. We have this 11, individuality. I broke down 11 earlier. So this 11, there's some divine messages coming through. Pay attention. You're going to have some really powerful dreams. You're going to have some really powerful messages coming through. And you have to use your first eye to see. Many of you had to learn independence. You had to be learn to be independent because many of you were codependent for a long time, whether in your relationships, whether financially codependent on someone else. This is what you've been learning these past, um, you know, this, this past chapter, this cycle that you've been closing up is to be independent of others, to be able to, you know, fend for yourself, care for yourself, take care of yourself, to do for yourself without someone else's, um, you know, without someone else there. Because maybe there was, you know, like I said, just a codependency, even if it's emotionally feeling like, oh, I can't be alone, I can't be by myself. And so you would just find yourself in any type of toxic relationship just for the sake of not being alone but you had to learn to be alone in order to value you know yourself in order to learn to love yourself and learn what you deserve you know and so now there's no more just settling for anything just for the sake of just being in a relationship now you're going to choose wisely your partners you know you're going to choose wisely by basing your decisions on something other than I don't want to be alone. It's going to be more so like, you know, me and this person, we, we have strong chemistry or we have similar interests or, you know what I'm saying? It's like someone that compliments you and you them. 
but this individuality has allowed for you to discover that about yourself and it's also allowed you to tap into your um into your spiritual power your psychic powers your intuitive powers your ability to be discerning you know because this too is the high priestess so you realize maybe you're seeing 1111 as i said earlier because we got 1111 right underneath that so 74 is 11 and 11 so many of you can be you know kind of coming into some really strong um partnerships that's a possibility as well but that 11 the two the high priestess has divine knowledge and divine wisdom maybe you already know this and i'm speaking to the i'm preaching to the choir because that's one of the things maybe you've been manifesting and calling into um you know you've been calling into um your life and we have billy joel we didn't start the fire so, like I said, a lot of you are putting out, you know, are cutting cords, generational curses, hexes, and yokes. You didn't start the fire, but it is your duty, it is your job to put it out so that it doesn't continue, you know. So you have to, it's your, it's you, you have to do your due diligence. So let's see what came out. So we have 16 rebirth, another confirmation of the transformation, you know, that you've been through. This is the outcome. And that reduces to seven, and we started the reading with seven as well. And we're going to see what all these cards reduce to when we're done getting this last message that fell out. But this seven is definitely saying that there is this sense of victory and success and something you're know, like having a triumphant outcome. This is showing that you've emerged someone completely new. And this is very, it's very awe-inspiring and we have 41 self-discipline so the work that you've done on the self a lot of self-work self-love self-value and that's that will always you know when you do the work you get the rewards you reap the rewards and that's what I'm seeing here so we have three this is nine this was 16 7 8 15, 6, 6, and 5, that's 11. So we have 11. So you're getting your just due. So there's definitely justice. You're getting your just due. I'm definitely feeling like things are going to turn around in your favor. Things are definitely going to be handled fairly, justly, and we still have this 11 here. And it's because you've discovered that your independence is the foundation for your stability and your security and your overall happiness and your strength. So you got 11 all here. This is 11 and 11. So 11 is your number. Some of you were born on 11-11. Maybe during the 11th day in August, something is going to come out. Some, you know, wish fulfillment or some blessing or some news. Maybe in 11 days, you'll hear something. Some of you could have been born on October 29th. Some of you could have been born 11-11. Someone you could have been dealing with could have been born in the month of November or on the 11th day. 11 reduces to 2, so there's a decision. Remember what I said? I believe the elections are in November, if I'm not mistaken. So remember what I was saying about using your intuition and using discernment and not allowing yourself to be just like led astray or to be duped or to be manipulated like... Like, do what feels right, sits right in your spirit. Do not allow yourself to be, you know, told what to feel or what to think or who to vote for or what to, you know, like, choose, make your own decisions. And you don't have to share that with anyone. It's your business. That's why I was saying earlier, mind your business. Do not allow others to mind your business, but you mind your business and you, you, you keep your business to yourself <laughs> at the same time. Because there's definitely this feeling of like, there's going to be a decision. And I feel like in the month of November, something is going to happen where you're going to have to make a decision. And you're going to have to choose wisely. Choices. Because we all have a choice. They make you feel like you don't have a choice or you can only choose one or the other. And that is an illusion. Your will, your power, your energy 
that is currency and they bank on us to give them that you know and when i speak today you know who they are all these folks sitting on your tv telling what telling you what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to think so they bank on that they bank on you being you know just submitting your will and trusting everything that they say and this is the biggest the oldest trick is propaganda and they've been doing this ish to us for years so use your intuition is all i gotta say you are definitely a high priest high priestess so you have the ability to see beyond the illusions and we could clearly see that a lot of the illusions a lot of the things that they've been doing have absolutely um they've been hiding a lot in plain sight this is the age of aquarius now you know the age of information affirmation we have access to everything we don't need them for anything we low-key don't even need their fake education you know what i'm saying that's just another way for them to guarantee your ass to be in debt for the rest of your life is to charge all these exuberant prices for you to get an education so that you could be a productive person in society i don't get it it should be free just like healthcare and everything else that they love to monetize but at the end of the day think for yourself that's the whole point of my diatribe so what we have is the soul cipher and this is on the soul train award so as i'm speaking to um you know using your intuition the, the, the soul cipher is literally saying, like, connect with your higher self, with your spirit team, consult with your spirit team, and that's where you get your answers. Don't go to any external forces or sources for your answers. Ashe, don't even look to me for the answers, you know. So look what's on the bottom of the deck, beloveds. We have victory and success, and that is the number six. Look at that. And that's what I was picking up automatically from your cards because all of this reduces to 11 and I was feeling something was turning around in your favor. So this victory in sex is the victory. I said sex. So some of y'all, this definitely have been perhaps um, celibate. And so maybe you're going to meet a partner and, you know, especially with this relationship change, some of you, as I said, will be coming into partnerships um, and there's going to be victory. Maybe in the former relationship you were in, um, you know, maybe the sex wasn't that pleasing. Maybe it was not good. Um, whatever the case may be, this time it will be. <laughs> but with the victory and success, definitely feel like there's something beautiful coming. You know, this is like, you know, there's, this is like good news. You know, you see that, that beautiful horn and it's like good news. And it's coming from, from, you know, spirit team, your guides, your angels, the most high. Know. it could be some beautiful sunsets and sun um rises that some of you may catch you know um they've been talking about this this red sun um i listened to a brother al cabulon 44 where he does a lot of predictions um he's just a genius mind i love people who you know really put things together but he definitely uh was speaking about like a red sun that we'll be seeing and there's been like a lot of reports of people like looking at the sun and seeing this red, um, this red figure, you know, like another red, um, sun. And they've been saying for years, like we have two suns apparently. So, I mean, that's why it's important to do our own due diligence and research, but this victories, this victories coming through on the split, we have truth and there's victories because you're coming into your truth. And this is the number 20. So the 20 is the judgment card in traditional tarot. So remember, we started the reading with that eight, you know, manifestation. This two and this six reduces to eight. So you have discovered the truth on your journey, you know, whether that was by means of, you know, kind of, you know, going on the spiritual journey of self mastery and learning, um, you know, from those karmic lessons, it has brought you to the truth of not only, you know, who you are, um, who you are meant to be, but also the truth of those connections, the truth of the importance of staying balanced and harmonized. Um, you see that she's, or he, he or she is like standing on a scale. And so this is about, you know, being able to stand perpendicular on your own square, you know, independence, individuality. Those are all, um, the means and methods that you learn how to, you know, be truthful to yourself, self-love, self-discipline, 
um, you have to be honest with yourself first and foremost. So this is about, you know, taking that time to search within, you know, for the answers to, you know, do your own due diligence to ensure that you are not being led astray. You know, this is also about making decisions that are best for you, you know, and when you do, it leads you to the truth, but it also um, leads you to, you know, victory and success here as well. So with this soul cipher, soul train, I do feel like things are moving forward for you. I definitely feel like you're coming into alignment. See that? You're coming into alignment. See the heartache and the pain that I was saying earlier? This says conflict and defeat. So that could have been the energy that you were in. But that number five, you know, this five, that five deals with, you know, the lessons you learned. Because remember, I was picking up with the Hierophant that there was definitely... You know, a lot of um, lessons that you had to learn. There was a lot of maturation, learning from heartache, learning from disappointments, learning from, you know, the deception around you. You know, that that 32 that we saw earlier, I was picking up with the three of swords um, in the 32, you know, and then the two was the decisions. And then the five, that's this energy, you know, learning from that, learning from those former conflicts. But then you recover, you know, you recover because... You're rebuilding now on a more solid foundation and you're rebuilding because you are with people that you know you can trust and that are not um, sabotaging, you know, your efforts. So this is beautiful. So there was, you know, you could have learned some things about, um, you know, the folks that you were around, as I said earlier. And so we have Heavy D and the boys. Is it good to you? Rising power to heavy D. So is it good to you? So that's what you're focusing on now. Um, is it good to you? Not so much, you know, what you feel you want, but it's like, does it feel good? Does it is it good to you? Does it good is it good for you, more importantly? So let's tap in. Let's clarify these messages. This is the psychic tarot deck. So this card is kind of standing up. I feel like it wants me to pull it out. And we're gonna see. So it says financial and material changes. So with this creativity card and this number five, that's eight. Yet again, didn't I say you were doing shadow work? Remember, for the 96 forgiveness, I was picking up on that energy because the 15, the card 15, 96 breaks down to 15, that's the devil. But when you break 15 down, that's the six, the lovers. So that's the shadow work because the devil card and the lovers card is one and the same, but one has the devil overseeing the union. And on the lovers card, it has an angel. So that's the shadow work that you had to do with the material financial and material changes. This is because now you're in your power. You know, you're utilizing your divinity, your man master manifesting. Maybe there were some challenges in the past um, financially, but now that you're in your power, you found a new um, stream of income, perhaps, you know, maybe there's, you know, more of a flow because that three and that five breaks down to eight. So I feel like there's definitely some things that are improving um, for you, you know, financially. Uh, you're going to start seeing, you know, some sort of um, return on all of your investments. With the shadow work, this is what's leading you to being able to forgive because this is what you're attracting to you is forgiveness. So there's this energy of, you know, you or someone doing their shadow work, looking at things from a different perspective. Thank you, spirit. Finish the shuffle. And so we have this accelerated motion, which is the eighth card. And I always liken this to the star because you can see that shooting star. Eight always deals with the strength as well. So that's how someone sees you as a star. We got proper uh, prosperity begins. So I told you that you had blessings coming in, wish fulfillments that were coming in and taking place. Your hard work is paying off. The seeds that you've sowed in the past, the work that you've done, you know, all of the, the work you've done internally, it's all, you know, assuring you this, this prosperity, the success. You can see all of the seeds that are blossoming and they're falling and blooming from the sky. These are unexpected blessings as well. Like spirit is definitely going to um, shower you with a lot. I feel like there's four coming that you don't even realize. Four um, blessings are coming. Pay attention to butterflies. Some of you all may be seeing butterflies, like yellow butterflies, big, beautiful yellow monarch butterflies. When you see these butterflies, and I just showed you a butterfly as well, and it doesn't have to just be yellow, but 
yellow is one of the colors but when you see butterflies that's a sign i feel or that's some sort of like um divine intervention from spirit like that there's blessings coming so eight nine six yep victories and success what you're attracting to you is victories and success. And it's because you've been very patient. Look at the patience. You know, you see the seed there. It's blooming. It's blossoming. And she has her hands rested on one another. That could even speak to, like, someone else. You know, like someone else kind of um, comforting you, letting you know that it's coming. That could be spirit's hand. Or that could just be one in the same hand just kind of waiting and watching as that tree blossoms and grows and bears fruit this is a beautiful energy and we have loaded lux and this is funk flex and this is um a remix by soul messiah so with loaded lux i definitely feel like there's going to be and i'm hearing luxury like that's the lux part like it's loading so it's like definitely coming especially with this accelerated motion card it's like it's coming abruptly quickly like quicker than you can imagine and the eight and eight, because this is all eight, eight. Let me show you what I see. So the 56, we know that breaks down to 11, which is two. So two and eight is one. And this is 78. So the one with that seven makes it eight. So eight and eight is 16. So this is definitely showing wish fulfillments and blessing. Because like I said earlier, I always liken that number eight to the, the star. And the star is, you know, that's a very powerful energy of turning pain into power, you know, finding that balance emotionally, mentally, you know, physically, just like turning things around in your favor. Um, and this is also like a hopeful energy, like knowing things get better. You can see all of the, you know, the, the, the arduous battle, the, you know, the, the pain, the trauma um, that she's had to overcome with these mountains that denotes the difficulties and the, the peaks and valleys, but she's been hopeful the whole time, looking up to the stars, looking up to the sky for signs that things are improving and changing. And, you know, with this surrender card, I do feel like there's definitely um, something coming because Spirit is saying be open. But we're clarifying the 78, the 88 card. So that's really 888. All of these cards reduced to 88, and this is making it 8. And I expounded on the fact that this year the lion's gate is actually 888 so definitely um someone does see you as someone's wish fulfillment they see you as just someone that they see as a star maybe they're watching you maybe you're in the spotlight maybe you've um turned your whole life around and you've been able to you know um land some sort of opportunity um you know since you've been by yourself you've just your life has improved tremendously you know so we have a couple of cards here that flew out and we have memories of love on the bottom of the deck and this is going to be for who or what um i mean what's hidden so look what we have the card that we have remember i was picking up on the devil and so there you have this devil energy here so the deceit and envy card. This is how someone feels about you. And I was picking up the devil for a reason. This is someone that wears a mask. You know, this is someone that sees all of the growth, all of the work you've been doing. They see all the success and the victories that you're having because of the work you've done. Um, whoever this is, is a very deceitful person. Remember, I was picking up with that seven, the seven of swords. That's what I'm getting here. This person is green with envy. Whoever this person is, they're definitely someone that's going to try to come in and dupe you um maybe they tried and you see right through them but they do feel um envious you know a little je jealous and this is the type of person that will do anything to kind of get ahead so you do have to be mindful that's why i was picking up very strongly the need to trust your intuition and also the need to um you know use discernment you know follow your gumption because whoever this could be could be someone that could be trying to um, potentially block some sort of blessing. And look look what I have here. So third eye, as I'm telling you, use your intuition. That's what spirit is saying as well. I feel you already see through this person. Whoever this person is, it's like you already see through them. 
And that's the reason why, because how they feel about you is with deception and envy. They feel like they've been exposed because this person has lifted their mask. So their face is revealed. You know, if they had the mask on, you wouldn't know. So it's like you already see through them. And it's because you were trusting your intuition. You're using your first eye to see. Even though that says third eye, I always call it the first eye. And look at this. Didn't I say you were going to try have a triumphant outcome? Like I told you that there was victories and success. This is the number seven. So this is the chariot. And you can see that red flag. So he's waving the red flag. So that's what your intuition is, is reminding you. Like, you know, to be assertive, to stand your ground, and to not fall for the okie doke. Because whoever this deceptive person is, they're just jealous because you are um, in a space where you have rebuilt, you know, your life without any input from them. They can't take credit. Maybe they did in the past. They can't take credit for the work that you've done because the work you've done has been spiritual. The work you've, it's like you've become like a sage of sorts, but you've also have made a name for yourself. Like you have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of people are learning from you. And this person is like jealous of the fact that you have people admiring you or people looking to you, um, you know, for guidance. And look what else you have material harvest. This is all coming from the universe source, the divine. So this is double confirmation. Prosperity begins. It says financial and material changes. So your changes are, are very good. You know, they're absolutely excellent. And it's because of the work you've done. So spirit is rewarding you. And that's why it makes sense. There's jealousy around you. Just be mindful of that. That's why I was picking up this, the sword, the uh, queen of swords energy. Cause when you have this type of like turnaround, um, there's always going to be some, some naysayers and some haters and, you know, jealous folks around you. So you, you have to protect your, your peace, protect your, um, protect your mind also. Cause people could be trying to manipulate and dupe you as well. Cause with deceit, deception, that's someone trying to manipulate you. So be mindful of that. And we have memories of love. This could be someone from your past. So, um, that could be coming in with this 91 surrender remember the 91 that's 10 so maybe there was some sort of hold there was some delay perhaps on love you know maybe you all have been like i said kind of calling it in and drawing it in and setting the intention and spirit is like okay you want love well now you gotta be open to love because you're still protecting yourself from whatever you dealt with in your past um which is understandable but spirit is saying you're very discerning and you have a strong intuition so you don't have to be closed off indefinitely and have these unnecessary walls be open so that you can receive those blessings and love that you have been calling in so divine spirit of peace and protection why is 91 surrendered here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpio so this card is like literally telling me to choose it i'm gonna choose it we get one more card why is um 91 thank you spirit and we have fertility that's the divine feminine the empress energy so you are definitely very attractive, very beautiful, very abundant, very successful. You are a healer, shaman, and a light worker. You are someone very powerful. Someone is conflicted mentally. That's why I was picking up with that too, that it was a necessity. Because remember all those cards before I put down the clarifying cards was 11 and that was two. So some of you could be very conflicted and it could be because you're in two minds, you know, so be mindful of that. And we have um, that first night playing. I don't know how you say this. My lexity. My lexity, it looks like. So that first night, maybe there's someone that is trying to make you think of something that occurred in the past. Or maybe someone's stuck in, you know, stuck in two minds about something that has occurred. Um, with first night, it could have been, you know, maybe your first time. You know, maybe some of you did not have a very um a very enjoyable moment of intimacy with someone and that could be you know maybe that's someone's memory is maybe they didn't feel like they performed well uh because i did slip and say you know victory and success earlier so i was picking up like you know maybe this is someone who is kind of up in their head and have these conflicts and this is like to me self-imposed um you need to just meditate to get things straight. Um, contemplate, you know, get out in nature, get some fresh air, um, sit amongst the trees, a body of water that always, you know, recharges your batteries. I'm hearing 
a fire alarm going off or a siren rather. So that is whenever I hear that, I always feel like that's a cause of alarm. So be mindful not to stay here because this is like, this is like, like this could lead to like nervous breakdowns. This could lead to like rumin, like, like overthinking, like stress. Someone could be thinking so much. They stressed out. So just be mindful. So surrender. There goes the universe. That's the 21. Remember I mentioned the world card because we had the third world and I was expounding on the number three creativity because that 21 breaks down to three. So third world. So this is you surrender. So spirit is saying you've went through major change. This has been enormous change in your life, Scorpios. So everything that you've been through has brought you to this moment right now. And, you know, with this three and this one, you're very stable now, definitely very solid. Um, you have rebuilt, you know, cause this 21, three and this 91 that breaks down to one that's four. So I do feel like what's hidden is that, you know, you do have a sense of self love, self worth, self value. So you're ensuring that your, your, your external world reflects that internal world that you have been working very tediously on, um, healing and, um, recovering. This is beautiful because this shows, uh, that you reach the level of self mastery. You have a deeper and more profound understanding of the universe, of the world um, that you are in and how to manifest and co-create with source. Four is the vibration of um, the love, the heart chakra, but it's also the vibration of 1111. So what's hidden is some of you don't know that, you know, you may have like a very beautiful connection to someone. Uh, there goes the throat chakra I was speaking to earlier. Um, so this is showing that there could be some communication coming in, uh, with four and five, nine. So it could very well, you know, express that, you know, they have some very strong feelings because the nine is giving me like the nine of cups. Maybe you're coming off very guarded. And, you know, when you are in an empress energy, you do know your worth and value. Even as an emperor, you know, your worth and value, you don't settle. So, um, whoever this is, they are mustering up what I feel is the strength, coverage, and wise dome to approach you, um, uh, because you may be coming off very guarded, uh, with the nine of wands I also referenced earlier. So this is someone that does see you as wish fulfillment, beautiful. They can see you as a maternal or paternal figure. They can see themselves building with you, growing with you. This is beautiful energy. So why is the 16 rebirth 41 self-discipline here for the outcome? For my beloved Scorpios, we get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Why is the 16 rebirth 41 self-discipline here for the outcome? We get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Thank you. So that card shows itself, and this card wants to choose itself as well. So look at this. A lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. If I could get the card. If I could get it. Okay, there it is. So look at that. I can't make this up. Trapped in fear, conflict and um, defeat. Trapped in fear. And then we have, this is the, um, the tower. So this is that energy of being bound and stuck. And that's what happens. And I feel, honestly, this is because someone is trying to um, manipulate another person into um because remember you have the deceit how someone feels about you is they're trying to figure out how to deceive you how to disrupt your peace and the 16 breaks down to seven which is the same energy as the deception and envy card for how someone feels about you so they're trying to figure out you know and someone's going to put on a false mask they're going to wear a mask get in you know try to be around you because they see you're having all this victory and all this success but they're trying to bring you know a tower into your life they're trying to have you stuck they're trying to have you confused this is all an illusion they're trying to have you conflicted feeling defeated so these two cards came out and this was still on the bottom of the deck um, conflict and defeat. So the trapped in fear fell out. So this is the outcome. And that's what the rebirth is. Maybe some of y'all were afraid to change something, but you still have this rebirth. And with self-discipline, you get out of your own way. You know, you get out of your head and you get into your, your heart. Cause this seven and this eight, that's 15 again, you know, and that's the devil. 
The mind is the devil's playground. So if the devil can have you questioning yourself or, you know, doubting yourself or stuck in a space of um, lack or fear, then the devil wins. And so that's why this seven and this eight, 15, that's why it's important for you to be in harmony. That's why it's important for you to take control of your subconscious thoughts um, and, and show strength, you know, like this person or whoever this is has never seen before. You get it? You dig? So let's tap in. Let's get some messages from my deck that I've created. What is that? Okay. Oh, fiery wall of protection by Archangel Michael, Mikael. So this is beautiful. So you are divinely protected because I was absolutely picking up on the fact that many of you definitely have, you know, angelic presence, ancestors around you because many of you are chosen. I even saw, you know, the um, 333 that I showed you earlier, which is the number of the Ascended Masters. So Archangel Mikael is definitely assisting you with cutting yourselves free from certain hexes, yoke spells. Um, he, that's why he has that sword to bring the truth. And many of you are going to be very fortunate. You already are. Remember, I was getting with luxury. Um, I mean, I was getting with loaded lux luxury because we had um, loaded lux playing as I was uh, speaking to the prosperity begins and the material harvest card. That's like luxury, but fortunate. You are definitely going to be very fortunate. Someone's name could be Maxwell, first, middle, and last. Someone could be from Brooklyn. So let's tap in. Why is this? Okay. Thank you, spirit. And so we have heal that self. So that's what you all have been doing, doing that soul work, healing at a soul level, healing from, you know, familial childhood, past life traumas, even from pain, from, you know, certain um, circumstances, loss of loved ones, maybe the demise of a relationship. But you've had to heal yourself. And in order to get to a place where you have self-discipline, you love yourself, you have to first start by healing thyself. So you heal thyself to learn to love yourself. And then when you love yourself, then you evolve to knowing thyself. What we have here is mentally stimulating conversations. So you are definitely attracting people on the same frequency, same vibration. As I said, you know, that's that synergy and chemistry that you'll share with someone so it says i don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions so that's that 15 that devil energy you know devil definitely is very more he's more cunning and he plots and plans and schemes and manipulates more than getting into his heart chakra or into his emotions because he's a trickster you know or she's a trickster like that that's their energy so for you, you don't do well with those type of connections because you know that there is no, there's no love, there's no um, heart, you know, there's no connection, and that's what you vibe with better than you know anything as a water sign. Like there has to be an emotional connection, so you don't do well. And this is the work you've had to do, the shadow work, the decisions you've had to make, walking away from connections that made you feel emotionally bankrupt. Um, and that's the reason why I feel like there is some sort of blessings that come through for you because perhaps whatever you were dealing with could have been blocking those rewards, could have been blocking those blessings. We have small things. So it's little things that, um, you know, someone, someone could have saw you as smaller, like, like less than, because that's what I'm getting from this. Because remember, we still have this deceit and envy card. So they, they may, you know, really think that they are somehow um like they did they just have this air of entitlement is what i gather you know like they look at other people like they're beneath them you know like at least you because we're about to pull the car for how they feel about you and it says small teams so i just get from that especially with um and then we got jodeci featuring ghostface and raekwon and it's called freaking you so um yeah this is somebody you could have ghosted i feel like you definitely could have left this person alone and it's because you realized they was wearing a mask you know this person wasn't being real wasn't being genuine wasn't being authentic and so you could have ghosted them 
but this was also someone who's lusting like this is a very lustful person this could have been like a gin a sex gin like incubus succubus maybe the, the, the you know and I was picking up like the, the, the intimacy wasn't really noteworthy for whoever this is let's tap in who, who is this person how do they feel about our beloved Scorpios or who or what um, is this energy you definitely got folks watching you though a lot of jealousy a lot of eyes watching so how someone feels about you is it says ready to love open to the new and this card came out hard you could have a lot of people watching you and it says master your craft sharpen your sword so that's what I feel like what's hidden that's what you were doing that's why you reached this universe card that's why the throat chakra is there because that's really about expression you know not just communicatively but artistically creatively and when you are opened and receptive to even those you know divine interventions downloads um, from spirit you may you know find that you come up with some new innovative you know monumental ideas that uh, you know you may channel you know straight from source so it's like when you master your craft and your inner creative energy you are more susceptible to like creating something new you know something noteworthy something groundbreaking you know something different maybe there's some different approach that you could take and spirit just really wants you to kind of focus in on that so we have eight nine nine that's 18 yes yeah, something could be hidden because these cards reduce to um 18 again very interesting and so someone could be from North Carolina, Staten Island. Let me get one more card to clarify because it has ready to love, open to the new. Maybe this is your energy. Someone could be picking up on like that you're open to love and you're ready for something new because you done dealt with all of the fugaziness in the past. So now you're just open. And that's why the receptive, you know, the surrender card is here to be open, to be the spirit is just reminding you, hone your gifts. Sharpen your sword. We get one more card for my love feels for how this person or what they're attracting to them feels about them. So we got a couple of cards. And this says turn that frown upside down. Many of y'all are definitely stuck in that, that space, that mental space where there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of questioning. You're feeling bound. You know, you're feeling like, like you don't have um, a way out. But that's all a mentality. So that's why I was going into that diatribe earlier about knowing that you're in the driver's seat. You know, your will is your power. Never submit it to anyone. I don't care what's going on around you. You got to know things are getting better. You got to know. You got to act as if you have what you're looking for. If you're looking for a new job, you got to act like you have it. And thank the universe, source, the divine every day for that new job that you have. Thank you for my $10,000 increase. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Just thank them. You know what I'm talking about? So we have oneness. They see you're at peace. They see you're in, you know, the space of equilibrium, in harmony. You're standing erect. Oneness is also that energy of just, you know, peace. Like, you, you, you're literally in a place where you are very centered, you know, very grounded. This is like spiritual strength as well. It says, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So whatever that was that you endured in your past... Whatever you was healing yourself from, it's made you a stronger person, mind, body, as well as soul. We also have prosperity, abundant wealth, independence, stability, uh, balance, and success. So these are all the things that they see when they see you. And this is what they could be trying to come in and, you know, distract you from. This is why you have, you know, these envious eyes and evil eyes and jealousy watching you, you know, because this is what you... You know, this is what you're representing. This is what you, how, what you're exuding at this point in time. And we also have, I am an alchemist. I create the potions and elixirs to life. So you are in that, um, you know, that, that uh, sage-like energy. You know, especially with this card here, spiritual career. It's, it's very telling that that's what you do. That you are someone that is um, very much tapped into your alchemical force. You have divine knowledge and wisdom. And you not only receive it, but you know how to channel information. You may know how to 
um, manifest, you know, that card manifestation proves that you know how to utilize the elements around you of water, fire, earth, air, and ether. So with turn that frown upside down is definitely um, something that you're going to have to smile about. You may not realize something is coming or wish fulfillment of blessing is coming. Thank you, spirit. And we have... You have people who are in secret competitions with you. Keep your business to yourself. Didn't I tell y'all mind your business and keep whatever you're doing to yourself earlier? This is the reason why. Because there's a lot of folks that could be watching that you're not aware of. You know, even if you have social media, you know, you may be active on like TikTok or Instagram or, you know, maybe YouTube even, maybe on Facebook. You could be posting a lot of things. Um, you, you Even trips. Like people think that, you know, when they post pictures of them, you know, chilling and going to little islands and countries that it's just like, you know, people are going to just love that and celebrate it. You'll be amazed at how like the, the slightest things people become jealous of or envious of. Like, why are they in Mexico? I can't go anywhere. I can't, you know, it's like the, the constant comparing. So but that's why it's really good to keep your business to yourself because everybody won't know what you're doing. They won't be able to send those you know, that evil energy to you because they won't have any means of knowing what it is you're doing. You know what I'm saying? But when you're just posting everything and putting all your business on blast, um, that can make people very envious and very jealous. And they can sit around smiling and beguiling. You know, it could be people in your inner circle right now. You know, you could have just got a recent promotion and you done blasted how much money you're making and they looking at you like, how the hell are they making that and they don't have a degree and I got this degree and they don't have this. So they're comparing. So people are always comparing. That's human nature. So that's why it would behoove you to just keep your business to yourself. But what we have here, music soothes the soul. Many of you could be clairaudient. Some of you are musicians. A lot of you, that's how you, you know, find peace or find serenity is just through getting lost in music. You know, that music card showed up earlier. So I do feel like a lot of you could be clairaudient. But there's also this feeling of like music healing you. Like it brings back memories. It is just the thing about music is that's the highest, one of the highest forms of spiritual alchemy. You know, just the fact that like you could hear a song and you'll remember exactly where you were when you heard that song. So there's some of you, you know, what's hidden is there's this, this feeling of feeling, um, this peace, you know, the sense of serenity in, in getting lost in your music. Um, we have intimate friends here by Eddie Kendricks. Someone's name could be Eddie or um, Kendricks, first, middle, or last. Some of you, this could have been a friend that you could have, you know, kind of crossed the boundaries that one time. Remember that song was playing that one night or the first night that was playing earlier, you know, and someone may be feeling like, like they didn't perform as well or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, some of you all could have took it to the next level with a friend um, some of that was a friend and kind of blurred the lines and maybe someone is discovering, maybe they have a little more, they have more feelings than they initially thought, whatever the case may be. Um, that's what's playing with intimate friends. Um, we also have love thyself. So you got to heal thyself. Now you have love thyself. I love it. So this is exactly where you all are. That's what I was feeling because when you learn to love yourself, self love is always, you know, um, just a form of, of, um, power, you know, cause you teach others how to treat yourself. So when you love yourself, you're teaching others how to treat you. You're teaching others. They have to respect you. You're teaching others. You have values. You have morals. You are, you know, disciplined, you know, like you're teaching people that, um, you know, they have to, they got to come correct. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know? And so we have laughter is food for the soul. See that? And I was literally expounding on the mean mugging and being mean faced and just constantly grilling, you know, um, laughter is food for the soul, but it also keeps you young. That's another reason why people could be like, you know, secretly hating you because this card is still on the bo bottom of the deck. And look what I see, that fiery wall of protection. So even all these people that are seething at your success, at your success, and you also have forked tongues. So the devil speaks with a forked tongue. So this devil, whoever these people are, they're definitely um, seething at your success, seething at the fact that you are growing and evolving. And you're vibrating, obviously, on a higher frequency, but Archangel Mikael is protecting you. That card was peeking out as I was talking about these folks that are watching that are in a secret competition. 
And your competition is you. You're, you're clearly not worried about none of these folks. They're worried about you. So carry on. But remember what I said. Keep your business to yourself. Don't be telling social media what plans you have, what trips you're taking, what you're buying, what car you're interested in getting. It's, none of, it's nobody's business. Keep that between you and the individuals in your household. You know what I'm talking about? Um, because everybody's not going to be happy for your success, period. So why is the 16 rebirth here? Um, 41 self-discipline. 8 trapped in fear and disruption here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace uh, and protection spirit. Okay, so we got a bunch of cards. Let me finish my shuffle. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we have don't fight the feelings. So that sounds like surrendering also. When you don't fight the feelings, that's like just going with the flow. So that's beautiful. So what did I say about someone coming and confessing or expressing something? It says, I love you to, um, I love how you love me content. So you will be content. Maybe that's what the fear is, is submitting to this, opening up to this is because you've been hurt in the past. The spirit is saying that someone is going to make you feel very content. You know, maybe this is you loving yourself and you love that feeling. It says, be thankful for what you got. So the attitude of gratitude, wake up every day. I feel like it's very important, you know, to have an attitude of gratitude, to wake up and be grateful for everything you have, roof over your head, food in your fridge, clothes on your back, heat, cold air, AC, car drive, you know, the car you're driving in the car, the job you have, like you have to be thankful for the little things. Thank, thank you for waking me up. You know, that's the first thing I do when I wake up every day is I just thank the most high for the gift of life. I thank universe, source, the divine, just for the beauty of this planet, you know, the trees, all of the life. But it's like, that is the attitude that we all must be in. And when you're in an attitude of gratitude, even just repeating positive affirmations or just, you know, be like acknowledging what you're grateful for, that changes your vibration as well. You know, so be thankful. Meditate to get it straight. Did not say that there's a decision. Some of you all need to meditate to get it straight, go outside um, so that you can make the right decision because there is someone that's trying to deceive you or, you know, trying to manipulate you um, to do something. And I feel like you have to. And with this energy, this is like blockages. You know, someone's trying to block you or cause some sort of disruption in your life. But spirit is saying meditate to get something straight. And it says put you and your needs first from this moment forward. So in the past, I definitely feel, especially with that independence card that we saw, individuality rather, and I was picking up some of you were codependent. Um, so you could have been like sabotaging, self-sabotaging, overcompromising yourself, your needs uh, for someone else, like doing more than you were getting or giving more than you were getting back in return. Um, and that's the reason why you had to learn um, self-discipline, which is all encompassing of self-love, self-worth, self-value. Uh, because you know, you, you, you know, it's all about self-preservation out here. So you can't put others before you put yourself, you know what I'm saying? And that's what you had to learn. So your independence was the foundation for your stability, your security, your overall happiness. But this time around, you're moving to the beat of your drum, doing things the way you see fit and you're not going to fight it. You know, what you feel is what you're going with. So that's a beautiful, beautiful energy there to begin with. So let's get some messages from Tarot. And then we are going to wrap it up. So we have on the bottom of the deck, look at that, the Nine of Cups. This is beautiful. So the Nine of Cups, I always see this card as, again as just like, you know, wish fulfillment. You're moving to the beat of your drum, doing things the way you see fit. This is that energy of me, myself, and I. Um, you know, in traditional tarot, I see it as that. But this card is a little different because there is a serpent energy, the snake. Uh, and then there's another, there's like a masculine and a feminine, feminine, fem, oh my goodness, feminine energy there. And, um, we are currently in the year of the, um, the, um, dragon next year is the year of the snake. So perhaps there is something coming in. Someone may come toward you during the year of the snake. Someone may feel like you've kind of iced them out of your life. Like you're icy. You know what I'm saying? Because I see like this person that looks like almost an Eskimo, you know, kind of traveling in a blizzard or in very cold temperatures. Um, but this person, it looks like a masculine energy. And they, this person is kind of reaching towards this feminine, you know. Um, so this could be someone who uh, could be born in the year of the snake as well. 
Um, some of you could be born in the year of the snake, but this also could speak to like shedding, you know, snakes shed, which means that they're growing. So someone could be growing or transforming. Um, this energy always reminds me of like the star because you know, the star is always naked, which is very symbolic of, you know, allowing your vulnerabilities to, uh, be turned into like a superpower. You know, you're not bound by anything, you know, not even clothes, um, there's no fears, there's no, um, you know, there's no fears here. This is someone very balanced, very confident. Um, so this is beautiful. And she's very, look at that. She all, she's also given Mama Yemenya vibes. So some of you all could be working with Mama Yemenya. Um, we also have the Eight of Wands. So this is another energy of like, you know, something moving rapidly, quickly, unexpectedly. Um, even with the friends, blessings, things that you may not, um, be expecting is coming and I see the three of them so that's powerful so that's like that ready set go energy something's coming in you've been juggling a lot we got mob deep um and cool g rap the realist so you definitely rise in power to prodigy but you definitely um have something um something coming I feel like you've been juggling a lot but there's like something new this is the ace of wands so there's like this new beginning and it's going to happen during summertime because we have will smith and dj um jazzy jeff or Dazzy jeff and the fresh prince singing summertime so something's going to happen during the summertime and we can see the eight of cups you know something's moving positively moving forward so you have a positive circumstance outcome so let's tap in divine spirit of peace power and protection let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up there goes the chariot yet again confirmation that there's victories and success major breakthroughs that's coming in we pulled that card that spoke of victories and triumph this is that same energy so this is what you have we're about to pull the card for the overall energy spirit let me get a message from my beloved Scorpios, and then we're going to wrap it up. My spirit of peace, power, and protection. It goes that energy, protecting your peace, you know, protecting your power, protecting your energy, protecting your thoughts. It's very important to protect your thoughts. right feel good with that shuffle bottom of the deck and we have the king of pentacles so this is stability this is someone very resourceful practical you know this is you being feeling very stable very grounded um this could be you know this could be someone that you're attracting to you because with that three creativity maybe something um you know someone could be coming towards you to work together to collaborate um you know, towards some sort of business um, endeavors. Maybe you'll get some good news pertaining a job or pertaining a business career. But this is definitely saying that there's something, um, something um, improving. Like you're receiving some sort of yes answer. And I see here judgment. So judgment is here. So there was something karmic that took place because this is the card for what took place and you know who or what you're attracting to you um and you know with this judgment card i absolutely feel like you know there was some stubbornness because there's a bull here you know in the clouds so i always get like stubbornness but you could also see that you know these people have risen from what appears to be like a tomb a grave so that's like the death the rebirth you know energy that i was getting earlier because when we was pulling these cards 13 um the death showed up you know what I'm saying? So um, I was getting like transformation. So your transformation, you emerging someone new is the reason why, you know, forgiveness is um, important because as I said, it frees you. You know, maybe these people were bound by their anger and frustration and, you know, their judgments, you know, and when you judge others, um, you're not, you know, you're, you're not God. So you're not to judge. Um, so I feel like the, the, the forgiveness is what has freed these people from these tombs, you know, forgiving and, um, 
you know, showing compassion. And so through the act of compassion and through living in one's truth and authenticity to realize like, I don't do well with people that are detached from their emotions. So instead of, you know, faulting devil energy for being devil energy, we all have to play our role. How about I just release myself from this energy and remove myself from this energy. And this is showing with the prosperity begins, like you're planting new seeds. Remember I was speaking to planting seeds in your subconscious and, and watering them and cultivating them so that they can, you know, th so that what you desire blossoms in your physical reality. And that's what I see here, literally. So this judgment, that 20, that number 20, there's a decision you're making um, and it's leading you. It's leading to some major change um, financially, emotionally, spiritually. There's definitely a change physically. So thank you, spirit. So we have the five of wands. So that speaks to a lot of competitive energy challenges. Um, you can see these people here kind of up at the top, you know, just different people. So there could be like comp competition even. But when you look here, there's a chameleon, you know, this, this little chameleon, it's like, you know, um, it's kind of letting you know, um, and you could spot it. You could see this, this person here is like, has spotted this chameleon or this lizard, whatever this reptilian energy is. And remember that, that alludes to the fact that, you know, these things, they, they, they are, they could be like, you know, kind of like not so much shape shifters, but they do shift. You know, they, their, their vibration, it can change. They change their colors um, so that they could blend in. And it's very similar to what, you know, kind of like this mask. When you wear a mask, it's so that you could blend in with others or so others don't, cannot determine or cannot see you for who you truly are. So that's what I feel like this, this, this uh, chameleon is kind of representing here. And this is the people that were in competition, just like, the card set you have people who are in secret competitions with you so they've been in competition with you um because you're just having a lot of success and things are you know naturally improving because you're naturally doing the work um how others feel how this person feels about you who or what they feel about you you're very generous you're very giving you're very grounded you're very gifted you're very loving very nurturing caring you you give to others you you're like very selfless you have brilliant ideas also and that could be another thing someone is kind of trying to steal from you people could be trying to take your ideas or just trying to do things that they see you're doing it because it's working beautifully for you not realizing that this is something that you're that that you've been assigned to do like this is like universe source angels ancestors the guides like the most high god is the one that gives you your assignment and so many of you are on assignment and that could be making others a little jelly because maybe they see that you're getting a lot of attention or something is growing something you know your finances are improving and that's making them feel a little competitive but you're also seen as very generous and maybe that's why they feel like all they got to do is kind of get in wiggle their way in and you know put on a mask but i feel like spirit is forewarning you um to you know don't just be open to each and every person that comes your way because there are some you know there's some some evil eyes kind of lurking and watching and and definitely um trying to sabotage and what we have playing right here hurry up tomorrow so someone's definitely trying to like, they're trying to see some sort of results. Like they're trying to rush something along and it's about patience. So this is a very impatient person, very impatient. So we got the cards. Wow, that was fast. Finish the shuffle. Decisions, decisions. And remember that meditate to get it straight card came out. So spirit is definitely telling you decisions, decisions. Why? Because look at this five of swords. This is that same energy. This is that same type of energy. Three swords to the back. 
actually four swords to the back, one to the leg and three to the back, and then they're carrying one. So you, you got to be mindful because this is whatever this is that see that bull he's riding. And then look at this, the agony on this person's face. Oh, yeah, someone is this is like karma. Someone is going to feel like horrible. Because you're like, regardless of what they trying to do to block you, like you're moving on. This is someone like trapped mentally. I just get someone like trapped mentally. Someone could get arrested too. Be careful. If you're speeding out there, like I'm, I'm seeing someone in a suit. So if you wear like a suit to work, like I see someone getting hauled off to jail. Or maybe someone is, you know, wearing a suit to um, go to the courts to fight a case. Maybe someone is already locked up and you'll be attending court for someone who's locked up and they're being escorted into um, into the courtroom by two, you know, two guards. Don't be deceived. I, f I feel like someone's really trying to deceive another person. And we got Phil Philip Bailey, Children of the Ghetto. So a lot of you have humble backgrounds. We got the King of Wands here. So you are the alchemist. Remember that. And you are someone who can absolutely like create the potions and elixirs to life. So, you know... That King of Wands is definitely, they, they go after what they want. They're very action oriented. They are not afraid to go after what they want. They are not. So I feel like you're, you're, you, you are definitely receiving something you've been working for. Something is definitely working out in your favor. Something that you don't really expect you know, it's like you don't expect it when it comes, but you've been working on this for a while. Like, I just see somebody like for years working on the same spell or working on the same, um, you know, setting the, the same intention. This is someone that doesn't give up. Like, they just keep at it. So why is 91 Surrender, 21 Universe, 5 Throat Chakra, Music Love, uh, Music um, Soothes the Soul? Love thyself and laughter is food for the soul for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. Thank you, spirit. And so look what I see here. The nine of pentacles was sticking out to me. So I definitely feel like that's confirmation because this is just co confirming the work. You don't get rewarded unless you do the work. We got the three of cups, reunion, celebrations. We also have um, the devil. I've called the devil several times, and there he is. So there is a devil that is very preoccupied with you. Um, and this is also the seven of coins. So many of you feel, you know, like you are out of sorts. Like you've, you really just don't realize how far you've come. You're tired. You're tired of doing the work, doing the work. You know, this is that person that's damn near giving up. But spirit is saying you got to keep it pushing. Forget what things look like. Forget how they appear. You know, look at all those angels, those guides up there. They're depending on you. They're rooting on you. This is the act of why some of you may feel defeated or feel, you know, a little stuck in stagnant. It's because you may have this type of energy in your in your environment. Remember, I just pulled fork tongue, and you have people seething at your ascension. They see your success, but you have to see it as well. They see how far you've come, but if you don't see it, then you could very well fall victim um, to whatever tricks this person is conjuring up because they are definitely trying to conjure something up. Um, they're trying to weave a web to get you stuck in it. You know, that that's literally like when a spider weaves its web, that is the way that they catch their prey and that's the way that they eat. Um, and that spider is a very feminine energy. 
Um, they work very hard, but that's a divine feminine energy. Let me correct myself. Spirit said, no, divine feminine energy. So you have to be very much in your power. You cannot submit your will. That's why I was speaking to that earlier. Very important because this is a cunning energy. They're very wise too. The devil's very wise. So do your shadow work. You know, I just get a sense of like there being a lot of shadow work. Some of you all are, you know, negating that or denying that. And spirit is saying you absolutely need to do your shadow work if you expect to have any type of positive results, you know, so be mindful of your thoughts even, you know, because there, there's a lot of fear here and fear is false expectations appearing real, you know, so be mindful of that. Why is the 16 rebirth, 41 self-discipline, eight trapped in fear, 16, um, what is that, um, disruption, um, I love how they love me, meditate to get it straight, be thankful and put you first here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios, and then we're going to wrap it up. Thank you, Spirit, and you have the Ten of Wands. So this is definitely saying that you've carried the burden long enough and, you know, you've gotten wiser in this journey. This always looks like this feminine, you know, this is a masculine energy in the back. And there's like someone who's, looks like they're getting sworn in. You know, if you look, the guy's kind of like raising his hands. He's standing in front. And remember what I was saying about like, you know, being, um, being chosen you know being initiated and that's what that looks like so all of these challenges all of this that you've endured it was definitely um a part of your initiation to become you know your own healer shaman light worker or spiritual practitioner or have your own spiritual career there's definitely evidence of you becoming wiser you know more mature on this journey um with the two of pentacles spirit is reminding you choices and decisions with children of the ghetto as i said have come a long way i do see a victory here because you're relentless you know call upon mama oya as well i'm hearing that as well um because she will she will definitely protect you she will definitely help you as well um let me get i want to get some more messages i don't know i'm just i feel like spirit just has a little more to say so we have cherish here on the bottom of the deck so cherish says protect your relationships well so definitely, I feel when you do come into alignment with people that are on your frequency, like those, you know, like minds, um, there's definitely going to be more of an intention to um, be protective of those connections. You're going to cherish it because, you know, like it's not every day you bump into individuals on your wavelength. So you definitely be more mindful to, um, you know, to cherish and honor those connections um, and the loyalty and, you know, just the you know, that, that, um, that camaraderie that you, that you feel. So what we have is surprise and cherish. So spirit is saying that you may be, you know, surprised by whatever's coming your way. So this is a beautiful energy, you know, cause I was picking up like for some of you that were waiting on some news from perhaps a job or waiting on, you know, some news about business, um, endeavors, whatever it is, something is definitely coming in. Um, something is going to surprise you. I was feeling that even with all these eights jumping out, that there was some sort of wish fulfillment or something that was coming unexpectedly. So that's confirmation. Um, so divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get some messages to clarify overall energy, who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them, how that energy feels about our beloved Scorpios, what's hidden in the energy and the outcome. Thank you, spirit. And I'm just shuffling my cards in my lap. You can hear it. I'll do it on camera so you can see. I'm a show and tell kind of gal. All right, spirit, what do we have? And we have playing on the playlist right now. Um, it's Kendrick Lamar. And this is called Die Hard. So definitely... With that die reference, you know, we are the death card. So it's been a hard process. I see Cupid in true love. So you're going to have someone that's going to definitely be a die hard because they say die hard fans. That's what I heard originally in my mind's eye when I heard die hard. But someone could be from LA. Someone's name could be Kendrick or Lamar, first, middle, or last. Um, 
and I'm hearing someone's name could be um, Amanda. Oh, spirit of peace, power, protection. Oh, spirit of peace, power, protection. Clarify these messages. One more I heard. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. And we have confusion. See that? And that's what you had to heal. It says, all seekers of truth will experience confusion. Ask the universe to provide the answers you need. So that's definitely something that you are healing from. It's just feeling confused. You know, this energy here, feeling disrupted, feeling fearful, feeling like you were conflicted in some way, stuck in two minds. You know, so that confusion could have been um, because you weren't able to see something clearly. Uh, it could have been because you've had a deceptive energy around you, manipulating you. Or it could have just been because you did not take the time to do your due diligence to uh, contemplate. Because uh, remember, you had to meditate to get it straight. So it just probably required more time to, um, you know, to get um, some clarity. So there was some confusion here. But with the, the creativity card and the five and the heel and the queen, um, the king of pentacles... I do feel like there's, um, you're, you're working something out, you know, because it does say some changes are taking place, financial and material changes. And so, you know, with the heal thyself, I feel with that healing, um, that's why this King of Pentacles is here because you do find the, res the resolve, you do find the solution, I should say, to whatever was confusing you. You come to the light, you can see the light is shining there and this person is kind of being guided to the light. So the light always represents the truth. And that light is this card. The three, the creativity looks like the sun. So the sun is, you know, speaking to you, you know, following the sun that shined within you, which is that gumption that I was speaking of earlier. But it's also, you know, um, having the strength, the courage, and the wise dome to um, follow your passions. Ashe. So we have feelings here. Feelings. And this is what you're attracting to you. So there's definitely going to be, um, you know, some question. Like, remember, you pulled this. I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. So, you know, feelings are very important. It says take the time to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing. So that's what I felt you were doing was the shadow work. Because if you are discovering that you don't do well with people that don't emote and you're a very emotional being then that is not a good match for you. That's not a good suit. So that's why you're going within to now search within yourself what it is you need to change or what it is um, that you need to do moving forward. So those conflicts that you were feeling, you know, that were internal, you're now starting to, um, you know, to honor that, honor the feelings that those conflicts brought up within you. Um, and you're going to forgive yourself. You're going to forgive others um, on the, in that process. And you're going to show more compassion moving forward um, and love. So this card landed on my thumb. And so we have, bar oh, barrier. Look at that. So that was the barrier. It says find ways around obstacles to find happiness. So you found a way and it was through, you know, you, you, you go, you, the only way through anything is through confronting it. And I feel like that's what the shadow work forced you to do. Um, because whatever was blocking you or being a barrier, because remember I was feeling like there was something blocking or hindering or delaying um, these blessings from coming in. It's like you found a way around it or through it and it's through confrontation um because you could clearly see you know that this this energy here is you know it is green with envy just like this deception and envy card he's wearing all green and then this is a green um you know uh what you call it reptilian um what do you call that um I forgot the name that fast, but you know what I'm saying. So that's what that is. That's, that's the energy that it's showing. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Cause that's what it does. It, it is a, um, you know, they call them shapeshifters. Um, you know, cause it camouflages, 
a lot of times you can't even see them in the trees but this could be a very it could be threatening because some of these lizards you know these reptilian and they could be like um poisonous so if you don't see it it can literally be the death of you but this barrier um was what is what i'm feeling is um you're starting to realize you know that there was something uh, that you had to get you had to get through you know and so you're confronting it now you're recognizing and realizing what those barriers were um, and you're confronting them and we have midnight star curious playing so with that star reference definitely wish fulfillment definitely strength and resilience you know I, I just feel you know whenever I hear star I just always feel just a strong you know a strong energy you know a strong determined um, hopeful positive mindset optimistic you know someone that just you know speaks their daily mantras affirmations someone that lives by you know just a positive and affirming way of life you know and we see test it says test your strengths and weaknesses are being tested and that's exactly what this devil energy is doing trying to test you trying to see if you're going to let your guard down trying to see if they could get in again Get in where they fit in. You know, you're being tested. And so you have to be wise, you know, because the tests, these tests are not designed to kill you. It's like whatever doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. These cards all want to fall, and I'm going to take them. So Spirit is telling you to observe. So test is still on the bottom of the deck. So you absolutely have someone feels about you. Is They're going to try to test you to see if, you know, if you are who you say you are. Um, but we have observed. They're observing you. Remember, we had... You have people who are in secret competition, but you also have people that are definitely interested and attracted to you, observing you as well. And it says, notice all the noteworthy things in your relationships. So that's what you're doing as well. Not only are people observing you, but you're also observing people in your cipher, people in, you know, close comfort um, to see if these individuals are right for you. You know, like now is the time to start making cuts. You know, it's the time to start getting rid of what no longer serves you, especially during, you know, these eight, um, this eight universal year, the year of karma. Um, it's very important to start clearing out your karma, paying your karmic debts off, uh, cause we're coming into that year of the snake next year. So we want to make sure that all things that no longer serve us, we are finally rid of. Um, we also have Cupid and it says love is in the air when Cupid is around. And remember, you also had this 56 relationship change. So this card is definitely saying that there's a possibility for some of you to come into some really sec um, special connections, you know, with your soulmates, with your soul tribe. Um, we have telepathy and it says close, um, close soul connections harmoniously synchronize, reenact mint of telepathic moments so this is beautiful because whatever or whomever you are attracting to you there is obviously some sort of telepathic communication um you did pull that uh throat chakra so someone could definitely be you know thinking of you very very much right now to the point where they're ruminating um but then they will eventually reach out so even if you're thinking of someone even as i'm speaking of this whoever that person is that's in your mind's eye you're thinking of them at the same time they're thinking of you. And that is only going to make the connection or the desire for one or the other to reach out and call. If they don't have your number and you have theirs, um, you know, maybe you will be the one to make the first step. Maybe there will be some sort of communication via email or if they don't have your number or maybe through some social media contacts. But I do feel like right now there's heavy thoughts um, someone is like lives in someone's mind. Um, someone's constantly thinking of another person, dreaming of another person. We have acceleration. So this is what's coming quickly. It's coming quicker than you can imagine. It says speed up and chase the results you want. So whatever it is that you are asking for, requesting or calling in, I feel like spirit is saying that it's going to come quickly, but you have to be sure of what it is you want because you got to be careful for what you wish for. So if you're uncertain, that's why Spirit is saying take the time, meditate, get it straight. Um, take the time to be sure. Take the time to really assess your situation because whatever you're going to call in, it's like you have the power. You literally have the power to manifest what you want. And it says Spirit, your spirit is about to be sublimated. 
So this is beautiful. So there is definitely this beautiful um, ascension that's taking place spiritually. I do feel like a lot of you are um, coming into your power finally. Like there's definitely just this feeling of initiation. Um, whatever you've endured in your past, whatever you've experienced, whatever you're healing from, growing from, whatever you've learned from, that was always designed and destined to be the stepping stone to you coming into your divine purpose. And this is beautiful. So with Tess, this devil is definite, definitely testing you um, and testing the waters. And that's why Archangel Mikael was all around this reading. Even when we first pulled the cards of my deck, it said um, fiery wall of protection. So you do have a fiery, impenetrable wall of protection. And I feel it's rooted in jealousy and envy that this devil is seething, you know, seething at your growth, your ascension at your success, at the victories that you're having. And it's clear as day that you've worked and earned these victories um, in the success, but someone is definitely um, feeling salty because they're comparing. This is the competitive energy that I was picking up on earlier. So with test, you will be tested. Trust your intuition. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Wow. All right. A lot of cards flew out and spirit told me to expound. So we have clarity here. Make sure you're clear. That's why spirit was telling you to go out, meditate, get it straight. That's why spirit was telling you, you know, to um, hone your skills and gifts because it puts you in, you know, um, it puts you in a higher state of being. Whenever you're in a creative mode, you're in your divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And so you'll be more susceptible to seeing things clearly. Um, and so that's why I feel like, you know, you, you have to take a moment to just kind of uh, observe, uh, as the card said, you know, observe your surroundings, observe situations, don't react um, quickly, just kind of observe, 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 observe. So we have maze. So this, this, this trickster could be like putting you in a compromising situation because it could be confusing. It says, even if you feel lost, there's always a way through the maze. So this is what um, this devil could be doing. Because they are the masters of manipulation, the masters of illusion and delusion. So when you're being tested, that means that someone is intentionally or something is intentionally happening so that you can rise to the occasion and see things as they are and not as they appear to be. That's why it's important to exercise utilizing your first eye to just feel things, you know, energetically. To feel it sometimes it's really good um to like blindfold yourself and see if you could walk in your space you know what i'm saying like just see if you could just walk in the space and 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 pay attention to how quickly your ears will start to pick up on things um your other senses will kick in so some of you all need to practice doing that you know or exercise using your other um senses so that you can start feeling your way through these circumstances or navigating through these circumstances um energetically or on a vibration a vibration a vibrational um frequency so we have this maze all i love this deck because it shows these beautiful trees you know so now we have past life so remember what i was saying about you healing um from traumas familial childhood um, even past life. So it says we reunite with our loved ones over and over in different life, in different lives. And that's what I was saying. So some of these soul tribes, some of these friends that you're bumping into, these could have been family members in a former life. So pay attention to the way people make you feel. You know, that's why it's important to trust your feelings because when somebody is feeling like this, you should be able to pick up on that energy, like without even being in there, like right, like right up on them. Like you should feel it when you enter the room, the eyes, you know, the, the, the discomfort, the, you know, the, the uneasiness, uh, you know, the space should just feel a certain way. You should definitely be able to feel your way, um, in certain situations. And we have intense. So it says the intensity of a true soul connection includes highs and lows. So this is very true, but the lows can't be low to the point where there's no coming back you know, where someone has defied you, um, or defiled the relationship, the friendship, the trust to a point where there's no return, where you can't trust them again. So it's like this, that is a very 
subjective thing. This isn't a literal thing or objective. This is subjective. So it's based upon what you may feel um, is a low, you know, that is, there's no turning back from. Um, and as I said, it's not that you're not going to ever forgive their actions, but you will never allow them in your cipher. Um, you got to be mindful of the people around you. You got indication. Watch for signs that lead you to true love. So you will have some signs, some synchronicities, um, and there will be a lot indicating that something is coming. And that could be the reason why this devil could be working around the clock to block something. Because I get a strong sense of this being like someone, a karmic um, from your past, you know, some sort of karmic energy. Um, whatever the case may be, there is a union that is taking place. This could even be the union between you and yourself. It says the union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. So something that you could have manifested, forgotten about it, or just, you know, because you grew impatient, um, or maybe you're growing weary of the fact that it's coming. Spirit is saying it's all happening in divine time and you have to surrender. That could be the delay in and of itself is questioning whether or not it's coming, questioning whether or not you're deserving of it. And then we have challenge. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. So if you do have a sacred bond connection, soul connection, spiritual connection, twin flame connection with someone, whoever this person is, whether you met this person in a former life, past life, or in this life, and you've lost contact and they are coming back, it seems like they are definitely returning. Um, and it's, it's the coming back together, which definitely confirms that it is meant to be. Whenever you break off with someone and you find yourselves back with that person, whether it be 10 years, five years, two years, 20 years later, um, that was a connection that was destined. It was preordained. And then you have happy. <laughs> it says embrace your loving connection and be happy. So there's a lot of beautiful energy here. Um, not only will you be content, as this card said, um, you know, and you'll love the way that person treats you, but you're also going to feel happy. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel like someone um, brings just this light energy they bring this joy into your life maybe this is what you bring into someone else's or you both bring this to one another um but it also says commitment and it says commitment is an important factor in building a successful relationship so you are meeting someone um i feel like the reason why this this uh disruption um and this trapped in fear because that's trying you know this 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 tower that fell in your past um, it has disrupted the way perhaps that you see relationships or the way that you um, encounter other people, you know, your counterparts, your male counterparts. And spirit is, you know, reminding you to be open and receptive to what it is that you deserve because you absolutely will be happy. We got commitment and happy. Someone is coming in to commit. And you also have a yes answer and someone that is going to honor you. And someone, that, look at this, marriage. So this is a very a powerful, so you have marriage, honor, you have a yes answer, trust your intuition. So if your intuition is telling you yes, then you trust that. It says, treat the people you love with respect and you'll find your relationships become stronger. So that's what this person is doing. And it says the marriage of souls is the union of two divine op uh, opponents. So you are meeting your twin flame, your soulmate. And remember earlier we saw the 1111 and I was telling you that's the vibration of four, which is the heart chakra. So that is the masculine, the divine masculine is the fourth card in the major arcana. So this, these cards that you've been on a journey because this maze is just telling me that you've been on this journey seeking, you know, um, many things, you know, working on many things. Um, and one of them happens to be, um, you know, just loving yourself. And it's been quite the journey, but you've also learned in discovering loving of self, you know, loving yourself, um, your worth and your value, you know, you've discovered, you know, what you deserve more importantly. And so now that is what you are calling in. You know, that's what you've been manifesting is, um, you know, everything that you've been, um, absent of in your past, you know, the things that you didn't have, you know, whether it was a committing, partner or someone who was honest, someone who've honored you, someone who valued you, 
someone who you could trust you know that's what you that's what's hidden you know is it makes you loving yourself makes you that much more attractive there's going to be so much happiness so much joy so much laughter in this connection is that this is beautiful and it's because you you are seen through the eyes of someone who sees you as a wish fulfillment um someone is very clear as to what they want and i feel like you also will gain the clarity you're seeking um okay and that card came out fast. look at this the illusion see that illusion this is what that devil tries to do it says avoid the trap of mistaken fantasy for real soul connection and i feel like that is that person um you know that is trying to confuse you because this is why spirit is telling you um meditate to get it straight and put yourself first because this devil which is what the devil does they paint illusions and delusionment and this is someone that could be using rekindling a connection with you um as a means to get in and you have to be mindful of that you got to put yourself first that's what spirit is telling you this is someone you've already grown from like you've learned a lot of lessons you 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 definitely were carrying a lot of load on your own because that's what that shows me with all those ten wands let me get one more card to clarify the outcome and then we're going to wrap it up what is this card? thank you spirit bottom of the deck we got strength so you are stronger and that's what it taught you and it says embrace okay so it says embrace what fate has in store for you so you do have something beautiful coming so you know you just got to make sure that you don't get you don't fall into the illusion you know you see how this tree is in like it looks like it's like in encased in something so it's not even you know a real tree it looks like a tree so you got to be mindful you know and this trees trees represent shelter protection life you know wisdom you know trees are ancient so they've been here just as long as water you know so it's, this is a beautiful energy um for you to um not allow yourself to get trapped in fear or to be duped you know by that devil because remember this energy reduces to 15 which is the same energy of the devil you know this eight trapped in fear and the seven the 16 that reduces to 15 so that's the devil mish that's the devilish work and that devilish work could also be you 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 know like i said earlier we both have you know the devil and god in lives within us so when you let doubts and you allow yourself to live in fear and things like that to creep in then you are giving the devil more power than it deserves so lean in your strength and on your strength be strong um, because the power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together and not only will you have a beautiful love but you will also have true love it says true love appears when you least expect it so someone could be trying to throw someone off or you know like i said distract you and spirit is recognizing everything the universe will help you recognize the signs and the miracles so this is a beautiful energy this is what you have coming for you and we're going to wrap it up right there thank you so much for tuning and tapping in for two hours with q i appreciate you thank you until next time send a big fat ashe yo hope the messages resonated if it did please be kind hit the like share and the subscribe button peace